Jake, I know we maybe talked about this before. I can't remember if it's on the podcast or off, but it still fires me up. And I was just uh, traveling with Hattie the other day and thinking this still. When restaurants don't just straight up label their restrooms men and women, they have to get cute with it. They have to like be saying something weird. I was at a Mexican restaurant the other day and it was like caballeros and some other word. And I'm like, I know Spanish. And I don't even know <laughs> like which one to go with. Yeah. What like, happened to hombres or even, sure, you know, muchachas. What is that? That's a girl, woman. Really? Muchacha. Yeah. Not Mu- senorita. Like, hey, muchacho. <laughs> hey, muchacha. Senorita. Yeah. There's, there's, there's too many words out there for it. You see that you're like, I think that's me. But if I go in the wrong one, I'm about to go to jail, you know? Yeah, I remember uh, going to Outback Steakhouse as a young kid, and they had blokes and Sheila's, <laughs> and that was confusing. I don't know which one is which. I'm pretty sure I'd go in blokes, because Sheila sounds like a woman's name, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I think that was correct, but uh, yeah, it's confusing. Every restaurant's got to be a little cute. You apparently, know? pointers and setters? Sitters? Sitters? Yeah, we just learned that. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm a pointer, <laughs> but every once in a while, I, I don't mind sitting. I don't mind sitting. Not like... usually in public, but you know. <laughs> Uh uh oh, ooh I ooh I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Every Monday morning we're taking back Ghost Runners Podcast. Well, this is episode 117. If you're joining us on youtube.com. Something's up. Yeah. Something's our, our a little different. Got, got a little change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not just my voice cracking. Something <laughs> else is different as well. Uh, Brad, you should explain it. Yeah. If you uh, have ever heard of the booming metropolis of Stratford, Missouri, that's where we are. Yeah. Um, and it's Stratford, not Stratford or Stafford or anything else. It's Stratford, guys. Justice Beaver. He's from Stratford, Canada. That's different that's than here. Different. That's different. Um, William Shakespeare's from Stratford upon Avon. That's different than here. Different than here. Right, right. Yeah. I wonder that's what your text meant today. Oh, yeah. I did not get, get that, that at all. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, cool, man. Okay. Don't... See you later. Yeah. So what happened was basically we just didn't communicate far enough in advance about when we were going to record this podcast. Uh Jake left Thursday for New Jersey, mm-hmm. came back, and by the time he came back, I had left for Colorado. Uh, and I was gone Saturday to Saturday. And then I got back and Jake was out of town. And so I said, okay, we'll make it happen. I'll come hang out with you in Stratford. Stratford. Stratford? (laughs) Stifford. Stifford? Do you have it? Yeah, I have Stratford. Okay, good. Uh, (laughs) And so here we are recording in Jake's dining room of his house. Yeah, we're in the dining room of where I grew up. Childhood home. There's some great uh, pictures of you over here uh, from age zero to... Senior year? Is that senior yeah, year? Yeah, we got a senior pick. We got like a kindergarten pick and then like uh, went to Destin in sixth grade and took a picture in a white polo and khakis with the rest of my family. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And then Caitlin's just very prompt. How do you feel about Caitlin having like this massive picture up there? <laughs> it looks like Caitlin died. Is what it looks like. So I don't know if I <laughs> like want a little that bit spot. of a shrine. Yeah, but also like in loving memory of her. <laughs> in memoriam. Yeah, I yeah. don't know why she got those pictures. Anyway, you guys can't even see what we're talking about. I but. think she was a flower girl in that picture. So maybe it was like a special time. Maybe uh, not though. That that looks like a studio portrait. Yeah, I think we went there just for that. Okay. We went. To, did you take pictures with a lamb as a kid? What do you mean with a lamb? I remember a we live went, lamb. Yeah, we went no. to like a <laughs> photography studio and took a picture with a lamb. <laughs> really? Yeah, I wonder how often like that. <laughs> no, I don't think that's. I don't think that's like a normal thing that everyone does. Maybe maybe other people do. Are any of my parents in earshot can <laughs> confirm that I took a picture with a lamb at some point? <laughs> oh yeah, we got a yes. yes. There we go. <laughs> Trish says yes. Um, Was that? I'm gonna take off. Was that like a normal thing for for lamb 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 photos? Yeah, were we the only family doing that? It was popular. <laughs> it was a trendy like, thing no, to do. No, 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 it was no. Really popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was getting the lamb pics, <laughs> <laughs> lamb bams. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, it was a well behaved lamb, from what I remember. I think the pictures turned out fine. Yeah, but still, he might have been dead. Actually, no, I think he didn't move a lot and he <laughs> smelled was, bad. It was very sedated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> smells awful. What did you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we had something called mutton chops afterwards i didn't know what those were but uh, <laughs> mutton chops photography it was really cool it was, it was a great pack package deal you know uh you get to see it all it teaches you a lot so but hey thanks for making the drive You're i think welcome, it's pretty buddy. cool i can't believe that you did this yeah man because i was like i kind of chalked it up to like well you know we haven't been in the same city for 10 days like right. we don't need to like do anything too crazy let's just get an episode out 
you know, maybe 12 hours later than normal. Right. And then you're like, dude, I'll make the drive, which you just got done driving from Colorado, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, we drove and I kind of, your your parents were like, oh, everything all right at the home? You know, like <laughs> yeah, you just got back from Colorado and then you're leaving your family. And I'm like, well, I just drove for 11 hours with them. So I wouldn't mind a little time to myself. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bit of a drive, but I've, I've changed my tune on driving. I've decided I like it. Okay. Um, I, like, I think there, there was a question a long time ago, like how long before you fly versus drive oh, on a road yeah, trip yeah. or something. Um, and obviously it changes a lot based on different factors, but I think with my family, the way it is right now, like, um, it's just, been, it was just really fun. We had fun experiences while driving, especially on the way there. We took two days to drive on the way there. So it was like on the way there. And so it was only like six hours each day. Whereas the second time it was the whole time at once, but on the way there, we, we like stopped multiple times along the way. We stopped in Topeka, saw the Capitol building, Ooh. stopped in Manhattan and saw K state and saw my friend there. Um, and then we stopped at this really cool place, like literally in the middle of nowhere, Western Kansas called, uh, little Jerusalem badlands. Have you heard about this? No. It's like, I think only a year or two, um, not old, but a year or two public, uh, like it used to be a privately owned place, but it's literally like a very small version of the Badlands, like South Dakota Badlands okay. in the middle of like Kansas farmland. There's like these like amazingly cool looking rocks and stuff. Huh. And so if we were flying, obviously we wouldn't be able to do any of that stuff. But we, yeah, we never usually have the mindset of like, let's just stop and do this thing. And this time we did for whatever reason. And we had a blast doing it. So maybe I like driving more than I used to think I did. Yeah. If you, I think if you go into it with the uh, like um, idea of like, let's make some memories while we're driving, yeah. then you can make it happen. Like right. any fun road trip I've had. It's because we didn't have an agenda. We didn't have a schedule. Right. right. Like, what is that on the side of the road? Let's stop. Right. Let's go see it right now. Which is really hard to do if you have kids that, cause you're like, this is going to screw them up. This is going to mess up their <laughs> schedule. But for whatever reason, and it's honestly, I'm not trying to throw her under the bus, but it's usually Catherine. That's like much more like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like we got to be quick at this rest stop. So you go in and go to the bathroom with Caballeros with Hattie <laughs> and I'll, I'll stay out here and change Bo's diaper and get gas. It's like quick, quick, quick. And this time, she was just in a better mood and like, or I shouldn't say that eh. she was in a different mood and she was like, let's just stop and see this thing. Let's see Dwight Eisenhower's statue at the Capitol building. You know, like it was just fun. And it was she like, was in a patriotic like, mood. I think she that was, was only willing to it. stop if it was like a U.S. president. <laughs> right. Or a university or something, you know, whatever. So, um, and on the way back, we stopped at this random town in Colorado, Burlington, Colorado, like pretty close to the Kansas border. And they have one of the oldest, like standing carousel still like in operation there. And she's like, we should go see this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and it happened to be like their County fair. And so there was all these people there and we like rode this carousel. It was supposed to be 25 cents uh, a ticket, but uh, they were like, the bank's actually paying for it today. So it's free. What the- we're like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> what century are you in? It was, yeah, it was, it was Something like, it cost 25 cents. I think, I think that the, and the actual- bank is paying for it. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, it really was like just crazy small town classic thing. But anyway, we wouldn't have done that if we were flying. So we had fun. So, so you've changed your tune. I think. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows, maybe next time it'll be absolutely awful on a road trip, but you don't have to wear your mask while you drive. That's also You know, true. airplanes about the only place you still have to do that now. So well, we'll see. It's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Delta in more than one way. Am I right? Yeah. Delta there Airlines, go. Delta variants. Yeah. So. That's yeah. Trainer is starting to get a little nervous about the tour. We're like we finally felt yeah. like we were out of the woods with this. And now it's like, ah, really? I yeah. really hope that doesn't get shut down again. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I started laughing thinking about it, but that's not, it wouldn't be funny, but it would be like so terribly like, <laughs> like just, October 1st, we're there yes. again and then it gets shut down. Cause like you did three shows before, two, right? Two. <laughs> And it was just like, what are the odds, obviously? And then, of course, <laughs> you wait all this time. You get so much like infrastructure going and like have all these plans. Oh, I, I don't want to think about it, but that would be nuts. So kind of fun update. I don't know if I'm allowed. To, uh, no. Why does it matter? It well, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We have, like, we have like a thousand listeners. So. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, how you always kind of throw people off. Yeah. People are probably like, wait, OK, how many I thought do they had a hundred thousand? Yeah. One no, time no, no, he no, said we're a, huge. He said a million one time and he sounded like he meant it. How many are there? I don't know. Well, We'll never tell. No way of knowing. I mean, YouTube tells you, but otherwise, well, who knows? But that those numbers are, you know, that's YouTube. <laughs> Just that's big YouTube. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, found out that uh, we're gonna be <clears throat> we're gonna be utilizing a tour bus. Uh oh, my voice cracked and the dog's barking. He's fine. You'll be all right. Just yagging uh, on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna be. Uh, using a tour bus to go from city to city. That's fun. Which we thought that was going to be like maybe like one stretch. We'll go with the bus. But this is like, I think for 
almost the whole time. So you're going to be able to stop at some little Jerusalem badlands if you want to. Huh? I will be a little Jewish <laughs> badland boy. <laughs> little boy. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. Do you like, do you know what the tour bus, like, I know it's not, but I always envision just like a charter bus, but it's like, it's got to have beds and stuff, right? Yeah. So it'll, that's yeah. That's going to be so cool. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Trey said it'll be like, uh, yeah, I think we'll each have our own like little bed or, or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, after the show, I'm sure we'll hang out for a little bit or whatever, but then we get back on the bus and then we sleep and then our driver will just take us to the next city. That's awesome. And then we'll just wake up in like a Walmart parking lot. And oh like, oh, gosh. we're in Roanoke. That's great. So you're never going to have Airbnbs, you don't think? Correct. Okay. Yeah, no like, hotels, like no Airbnbs. this is where you're staying. Yeah, as far as I know. And you can sleep anywhere, so this is perfectly fine Oh, it is you. honestly very yeah. ideal. Oh, that's awesome. So, that's so yeah, cool. that was kind of fun. Because so before like, you were just like renting a van for the four of you or whatever. Yeah, right? we would just, yeah, just do a van and like pack merch in the back and just like right. drive from city to city. And now this is, yeah. Oh. All taken care of. So that's pretty cool. You should get like, see if Trey can get a decal of you guys on there. Like, that's what I asked. I was asking a genuine question. I was like, so is this like one of those buses? Like your face is going to be on the side of it? And he was just like, oh no. No. I was like, I don't know. I yeah, don't know. You, it is hard to know. Like, yeah, this is my first it's TB. A, it's a big enough of a thing. Yeah. First time having TB. And so he was like, no, we'll just like rent like some random like bus or whatever. That's so, so cool, dude. I guess you don't want to draw attention to yourself, but that's fair. But, but, it's going to have one bus at each venue. And so they're going to know which bus is the, <laughs> the bus that Trey's probably getting on. But And yeah, I could see it being a distraction if you are parked in a Target parking lot and Trey's face is on the side of it. It's like, oh, he's sleeping inside of there. <laughs> yeah, the fair. Right now. What about Trojan, Trojan horse in this thing and just putting your face only on it? And just kind of see what reactions yeah. we get. Yeah. They'd be like, that's Jake's bus. Trey's, Trey must Trey have must a be different somewhere bus. else. Let's yeah. not bother him. And so you'll never think Trey's in there, but you'll get a bunch of attention from it. <laughs> <laughs> we put Ghost Rose Podcast. We'll, we'll pay to put Ghost Rose Podcast on there as well. Yeah. And it'll be pretty like, um, you know, like explicit and adamant that like Trey doesn't sleep here. Like the pictures <laughs> on the bus will be like me by myself. Being right. like, I'm all alone. <laughs> yeah. Circle just, the window and say, not Trey's room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's not sleeping here. <laughs> I'm all alone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> it's like just like eliciting the wrong th- kind of things. Oh, like, hey, here we are. Dude, that's uh, awesome. I'm, yeah. re- I'm more pumped about that than you performing dude, in front of I, people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Trey told me that two days later, we were just sitting in silence. I was like, dude, that's crazy. We get a tour bus. And he goes, are you more excited about traveling there? <laughs> and then the tour was like, kind of. I now. think, yeah, I think that's half of the joy for me is like, yeah. yeah, the yeah, the Airbnbs or wherever you get to stay and like the mm-hmm. amenities and stuff. So yeah, because it's already the set restaurants in. you get to go to and stuff. Like yeah, that. and the yeah, the little Jerusalems. Sure, because it's kind of <laughs> starting to set in that I'm performing. So that aspect is like not as new anymore, but yeah. the tour bus is new. So does that mean you're going to stay out on the road the whole time? No, I think it'll still that'll just be tour bus from like first city to last city. So wait, wait, wait sorry. Wait. Um, yeah, that didn't help. Yeah. So that, just that like, sounds like the whole time. <laughs> no, not the no. whole time. Just like from the very first show to the very last. Just from show. the beginning to end. So like then, maybe you have legs or whatever is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like, like four days at a time. Okay. We'll be on a tour bus. So you think it's going to be different tour buses every time? I don't know. Could be different drivers. Could be different buses. Oh, I hope you have the same driver. You're going to have Actually, great stories from that. It would probably be a different driver, right? If like we're flying like. Or maybe I hope that's different drivers every time because some driver is going to be a lot worse than the rest. And you're going to have great stories from that too. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this guy was terrible at driving. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be good. So that was That's a fun awesome. update. Can you tell me about New Jersey, please? I can tell you all about it. I got a lot written down. I feel like I saw uh, different ghosties every night. How many nights? Three nights? Three nights, three double headers. So we did six shows total. Wow. New Jersey came to play. Yeah, it was fun. It was a really good room, like low ceilings, like really crowded, you Love know, it. so it's like not our biggest show, but like one of our loudest ones. Familial. What? It feels it felt like a big family in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very like yeah, chucharichas. Warm crowd, yeah. Or whatever you said earlier. What was it? <laughs> muchachas. Uh, you muchachas. never heard that word? I don't know. You've heard of muchacho though, right? Oh, big news. I just got a text. How much do you charge for a 20 to 30 minute comedy show? Oh. oh. <laughs> Tour bus or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay for a driver. Comedy show. Yeah. What does that even mean? I think just it's, stand up. I guess so. Or yeah, it's like a variety show. Like now what's the juggling add on? Yeah. How much is that going to yeah. run me? Dude, can you do a, you've done the unicycling yet? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, New Jersey, it was really fun. Uh, what do we know about New Brunswick now that you've been there? I don't get the, here's what I'll say. I don't get the appeal of living in the Northeast in general. It's a pretty blanket statement, but I don't know why you'd want to live there. Tell me more. From the parts I've seen, it's just like a lot of people crowded. Yeah. And not that nice. And everything's really old and yeah. all the roads are terrible. Everything's bumpy. Really? Just everything. The yeah. food, the roads, the, the personalities. The women's faces. Yeah. <laughs> just got warts everywhere. Um, and it's just cold a lot of the year. Obviously, yeah. it wasn't when I was there right. in July, but it's just 
I don't get the allure of living in okay. New Jersey or Rhode Island, you know, but hey, let me know in the comments. Obviously, people were like, why yeah. don't you live in Kansas? Yeah, that's fair, fair, too. That's fair. That's totally fair. And and some of the things that they would bring us points were are valid. Like, but our like, highways yeah, are right. nice. Yeah, <laughs> we have that, though. It's it always just boils up. down to people, probably. It's like, yeah, my family's here, so I really like it here. Yeah, yeah, I'm or sure it probably whatever, is, but... but. But that yeah, was, nothing about it was like, this is awesome. This is a great city. That was just one of the things we talked about when we first drove in. We're just like, this doesn't feel any different than like Bridgeport, Connecticut felt. This okay. doesn't feel any different than like when we were in New Haven or it just at all. When I've been in, uh, I've spent time in Philadelphia before. It reminds me of that like it's all just like, uh, maybe we just haven't seen the nice parts of sure. any city in the Northeast. Sure. Yet, but cool guy, Sammy's from Philadelphia. <laughs> so I'll, I'm going with him. So okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Maybe I won't let you know on the pod because what if I just hate on who I say me on the pod? <laughs> but uh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, but yeah, a lot of shows fun updates. themselves were good. Shows went really well. Uh, got, had some fun crowd interactions with these shows, which I'm loving more and more. And it's interesting, like my scale for like a a good show now is kind of switched. Like if I don't have anything like phenomenal happen with the crowd, I'm like, eh, it's an okay show. Right. right. And like that doesn't need to be my standard. I should be fine if it just like like everything went that. really well. But the guy I talked to in the crowd wasn't that great. <laughs> so it was a bad show. You can't control that. Uh -huh. You can control, I guess, how well you respond to him, mm -hmm. even if it's not that good of a question or whatever. But, but yeah, those first couple of shows, I think it just set kind of a precedent because I um, there was a man sitting front and center at one of the first shows who looked like he's about 100 years old. And right. I was just like, this is amazing. Like, he just like <laughs> barely there, like super thin, like white hair. Like doesn't know why he came. White mustache. Right. He's there with like his wife. And uh, so, of course, I start picking on him right uh, right away. Sure. And um, I made like a couple, like one like little old jab or whatever at him. And he um, probably didn't even notice. <clears throat> yeah, he was fine. Yeah. None the wiser. And people seem to like that. About halfway through my set, I'm like, you know what? Why don't we get back to what everyone's wanting to know? Let's, let's get back to Alan. You know, let's get back to this guy. <laughs> And people start applauding like crazy. Like, they love this guy. <laughs> so Alan gets up out of his seat, sitting front and center. He stands up and turns around and waves and, like, takes a bow. <clears throat> and so the crowd is just, like, loving it. They're cheering. And uh, it was so awesome. And it helped me because now everyone got to see just how old he was. <laughs> right. And so I was like, this is great. Like, I'm he gonna, stood like, up and took a bow, but that was one minute of your 15 minutes right there <laughs> yeah it's always awesome because now they were like they could see what i could see now these jokes that i want to say about him right everyone can like see what i'm talking about <laughs> did and you so, ask him to stand up or he just did no it? he just went for it it was awesome <laughs> and so i was like you guys this is amazing i can't say that i've ever been uh you know upstaged by someone at one of my shows who was also there for the signing of the declaration of independence <laughs> you know that's pretty fun and so i would just Almost like I found myself like as I was saying my jokes, like, how can I bring this back to Alan? Right. Like, is any of this, you know, so I was talking about some joke about America these days and how I love America these days. And I was right. like, you know, it's just it's amazing. And like, it just makes me thankful. Like, that's what Alan fought for. You know, like, that's <laughs> why we fought the British. And it's for that because of Alan. And so I just kept calling back. To it. it was so fun. Oh, and that's awesome. That was the first time I ever remember seeing a like a person like doubled over laughing in the front row. And so it was just fun to like yeah. get that like visual feedback dude, like this dude awesome. is loving it right oh, now you know that pumps me up dude. yeah so it, it raised the bar a little bit right and um <laughs> the, the very next night i was picking on a guy in the crowd and uh i was like what's your name sir and he goes duke <laughs> and so then i like i acted like i couldn't see him real i was like duke what, are you a german shepherd how did you get in here <laughs> and so i just kept treating him like a dog all night and i was asking i was like who are you here with what's her name oh jocelyn jocelyn is he a good boy is he a good boy around the house <laughs> and good. yeah so people loving it yeah, so stuff like that, which is really fun. Right. <clears throat> Anytime something like that happens. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like obviously the jokes are expected every single night. So you're not as excited about those. Yeah, because I've said them before. Yeah, but whenever you, yeah. Because that, that would make it so much more fun and not as much monotonous every single night of like, here we go. Like, I got I got Duke this night. Like, yeah, like, Duke's never going to come back again. You know, mm -hmm. Duke's, I'm not going to have another Duke in Tucson, Arizona. So I better <laughs> just like make the Duke like, jokes now. Take advantage of it and have right. fun with it. Yeah, so. Oh, is it? Do you think it's it. worth putting a like hiring an old man and putting him in the front row every single? Oh night? my gosh, I would love it. It was so easy to make jokes. It was so awesome. I love that. You so could, if you're listening out there and you're going right now with maybe your husband or your wife, tell them I'm sorry, but you can just I'll I'll, I'll Facetime you from home. I'm bringing my grandpa. I gotta instead. bring grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> Jake needs this. All of a sudden, there's like 15 grandpas in the crowd. Like, they leave when I'm done. I don't. Yeah. yeah. Wow. These guys really have a, he has a demographic <laughs> target audience, and he's just nailing it. <laughs> Um, that's great dude i love that do you recognize the name Kristen olson listener oh, patron yeah. of ours oh yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. um no i i think i do yeah 
For She's real. become a friend of mine. And we, uh, whenever Isaac, Scott, and Luke and I went to Phoenix back in February for that pickleball tournament, she was also randomly there, like with her sister. So we all hung out, putt putt, nice. you know, different stuff. Hung out. Oh, and, castles and stuff. Oh, nice. Good memory. <laughs> yeah. I went to castles and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a ton of fun. So uh, we've just kind of become friends, stayed in touch, whatever. And I get a uh, a text just like probably 15 minutes before a show, like Friday night, I think. And it was just like of Trey's face outside the venue. And I was like, whoa, do you live? Sorry, I didn't even think. Do you live here? Are you here? And she's like, no, I drove five and a half hours. It's like, what? You what? could have, have like asked me for a ticket or something. <laughs> she's like, no, uh, bought one. The only tickets left were VIP. So me and my friend uh, Morgan, we bought VIP tickets. We're going to be here at the show. That's so awesome. that was kind of fun. Uh, what isn't as fun is afterwards. So, you know, she comes all this way. It's like this kind of fun surprise. So before the show, I go find her in her seat. I'm saying hi, you know, and just chatting with her and her friend for maybe like just five minutes. It's just like saying thanks for being here and yada, yada. Okay. And then she tells me after after the show, but basically after that, she goes to the restroom uh, while in there. Several girls, I guess, followed her into the restroom. They pull her aside and they say, hey, are you safe? Are you OK? We saw that man talking to you. What? And yeah, I was like, oh, I this is before the show. They didn't even know who I was. Just my presence alone was threatening enough to where they're like, we need to go check on this woman in the bathroom. So wow. I was like, Kristen, thank you for telling me. That's an off. That feels awesome. Yeah. For right. my confidence. Yeah. That, that like, like you see, you clearly seem like you did not want to talk to me at all or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is your body language's fault. Oh, I'm so intrigued by this whole thing. Yeah. What? what? She said she was in the restroom and like these girls kept looking at her. She's like, what in the world are they looking at? Is something wrong with me? And then eventually they're like, Hey, like, are you okay? Like, do you need anything? Like, are you going to be safe what? or whatever? She's like, yeah, I'm good. Like the reason he came up and talked to me is because we know each other. You know, you know how people interact, you know how it's normal to do that. Are we getting, are we getting, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take too much of a stance on this, but like, like, are we getting to the point where we're a little too worried about girls? Like, I don't, I, I know, obviously like there's extreme things out there. I've seen taken, but like how, I'm, whatever, I, I know that like there's really bad stuff going on, but I don't know that just like, like every time a guy talks to a girl now, especially in public surrounded by 300 people, it's like, man, I would have to. And then he leaves. Like, it's not even like <laughs> then I was gone. Like he escorted you to the bathroom and then shoved you in the doors. Like, yeah, I don't what? know. They were just those girls were very much on guard. And maybe that's just New Jersey. But the funny thing is that that, the, that then you came out and like performed comedy and they were like, oh, we feel stupid now. <laughs> like That guy was just a comedian coming to talk to a friend like <laughs> like thinking. Yeah. What were you like? Were you wearing like a mask, like a just like a like a Jason mask I had like or a something? Chucky doll outfit yeah. on. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that was holding one of the butter knives that the servers had given me. But that was it. Yeah, that, that was all. It was just a butter knife. It wasn't yeah. like a steak knife. No, you're like, you, you, and you said that to her, like, you're like, it can't even pierce the skin. I promise. <laughs> you said that really loudly. And so <laughs> they're like, no. I said, are you a pointer or a sitter? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> this is getting weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of running into in the bathroom, though, I kind of posted this on, uh, my Instagram because I made some jokes about it. I ran into or I got walked in on in the bathroom. I missed it. Oh, I was, I was just off my phone. You know, good for you. Hang up. Spending time out. with family. Yeah. I uh, a guy walked in on me in the bathroom before one of my shows on Saturday <laughs> night, and so then someone was recording it, and so I, I actually made some jokes about it that night. I was like, one lucky guy in here, you know, got a little show before the show. <laughs> you know, he got to see the opening for the opener. You know, and made some jokes like that. That's perfect. Um, so I got walked in on, and in the very next show, the late show on Saturday, uh, Alvin big listener okay uh we bump into each other coming in and out of the bathroom okay. and i was like oh my gosh i'm sorry and what do i see but embroidered ghost hunters merch just like oh, really bump it into him let's go. I was like, whoa and uh i don't know if alvin washes his hands but fresh out of the bathroom big dap up okay. i just went for it yeah yeah he wanted the fist bump and i said no hands were pretty dry so <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome dude and uh, embroidered that means it's like a new merch that's what i was like you know, Ooh, embroidered good for you man that's the newest round yeah Ghost Runners. life he um, had the had the tie-dye hat on too oh heck yeah and he was there with a lady i don't know their relationship okay. but she also was in merch zoe 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 oh we got some zoe's that message us pretty often so yeah, maybe we got a couple of those zoe taylor maybe could that, be one her? yeah zoe allen Maybe. Zoe and Alvin. Zoe and Alvin. Uh, <laughs> but no, they awesome. were great. They were really fun. And yeah, I bumped into them in the bathroom. So, dude, someday it's going to happen where we're going to see somebody before they see us in the wild <laughs> in Ghost Runners merch. It's going to be so awkward because we're going to have to be like, hey, hey, Ghost Runners. <laughs> you probably know who I am. <laughs> yeah, right. If you if you bought the merch, you definitely know who I am. Yeah. Uh, 
because a few people in Colorado were like, oh, I'm in Colorado. I'm near you. Like, and I was just wearing my Ghost Runners merch. And I'm like, that would Yay. be so crazy if yeah. I saw you. Like, uh, I didn't. And there were a few people. I haven't responded to you yet. The people that did, but they were like, I'm in Colorado right now. We should hang out. I'm sorry we didn't hang out. I just wanted to hang out with my family in Colorado. So, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. But thank you for asking. No, um, that's fair. I, uh, yeah, I've seen like uh instagram stories or whatever like david dobrik will see someone in public wearing his merch and so he goes up and like surprises them and they, and they like freak out you yeah, know yeah i'm trying to imagine us doing that We're like let's go surprise them and they're like <laughs> can i help you yeah <laughs> you look kind of familiar <laughs> maybe no yeah what elementary school you go to yeah. is that it like, Are you? okay yeah. well i'm gonna put my phone i'm gonna stop recording this now <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> yeah you stop the recording <laughs> okay cut <laughs> that kind of happened not 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 that exactly at all but on the way here uh, to your house, I you sent me your address, and I was like, I don't want it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want the address. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I can figure it out. I was like, I, from what I know, Jake is from a very small town, and he lives on the outskirts of town, so I can figure it out. I'll ask somebody, and and you said like my if you ask somebody at a gas station, probably at least one out of every six people might know my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. And so I'm like, I'm doing it. And so <laughs> I I had to fill up gas when I got here anyway. So I got to the break break time. Sure, right? yeah. Went to the break time, uh, asked two different people. They didn't know. Wait, how was, did you word it? I'm very curious about this. First of all, I asked, are you from here? I said, are you from around here? Okay. And because, because I guess I technically asked Or did you just commute to work at the Stratford gas station? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you must live in Springfield. You drive out here. No, I will say though, it's very close to Springfield. So yeah. 11 miles on the main little thing. Nice. Whatever that is. Uh, 44, 65. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Um, so Anyway, uh, and one person said they weren't from here, so, oh. but that wasn't the worker. It was just a random patron of the gas station. <laughs> they weren't talking <laughs> they to They had him. a mullet though. So I was uh. like, you gotta be from Stratford. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then I asked the workers and this, this woman was apparently Steve said she was new cause Steve goes there all the time. <laughs> and Steve said this lady was new and she's like, who? <laughs> uh. And I was like, okay, now I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I was like, I really was hoping you would. Oh, know. sorry, I thought you were wearing a GRKC shirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's not the embroidered one though. So you're like, yeah, no, that'd be, <laughs> no. Um, and so I was just like, Steve and Trisha Triplett. Um, you know, I'm friends with like, and then I started feeling creepy that I was asking, like, because they're like, why? Like, they, they didn't say this, but the context was like, like why I do you really know? need to get to his house by noon? Right. <laughs> yeah, he's got some stuff going on later, so I just need to get there. Uh, I was like, I'm, I'm friends with the son. And then by the end of it, I was like, never mind. I'm just gonna text Jake and get the address. <laughs> Uh, so, but you end up not needing it. But then I ended up being very good at Google and finding the address. So how? Just Googling Steve and Trisha Triplett, Stratford, Missouri. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and going through a few hoops from there. I, I yeah, maybe. I should, yeah, why, why? <laughs> maybe take that part out. <laughs> How'd you figure out where they live? Uh, anyway. My parents might have some visitors <laughs> yeah, right. here soon. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So not the same thing, but it is kind of awkward whenever you expect somebody to know what's going on and know you. Or know the person you're talking about. And yeah, they and they just have nothing. So yeah. Anyway, well, Stratford's awesome. a nice place so far. I'm glad you got to see, you got to see the city. Yeah. It and as you're driving towards your house, there's a sign that says, "Thank you for visiting Stratford. You are always welcome." Of course. So you're, yeah, of it's course. like the Walmart. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're always welcome. You just can't go in that door. That's right. So, uh, I love that. So I get tagged and uh, stuff like that a decent amount. Like people, yeah. people like send me pictures when they're going in a Walmart. Right. Like, am I welcome? You're always welcome. Yeah, you're always welcome. You just can't go in the exit, idiot. <laughs> so um, anyway, I love the house. It's fun. Fun house? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I could live out here for What's sure. What's the acreage you think? Probably hard to guess, huh? I would never know, honestly. <laughs> I, and I don't even know like where you start and where your or your uh, aunt and uncle stop. stop or whatever, yeah. You know, like, but I would say three and a half. I think it's pretty close. Can we confirm from the recliner? Oh, he's not there he's anymore. He's not there anymore. Oh, uh, never mind. I do have some questions for him later <clears> if we want to get him back. When he gets but, back. Um, um, anyway, but yeah, dude, thanks again for being here and being at just the right. So I, the reason I came back into town this weekend, I am attending a wedding at 4 PM today. It's 2 PM right now. Uh, so we should be fine. <laughs> it's like 30 minutes away. Yeah, it'll be good. But uh, I also wanted to see my grandparents at some point this weekend and I haven't seen them yet. I was originally planning on seeing them this afternoon. So I was like, Ooh, Brad's coming. I'm going to go see him this morning. So just, yeah. you know, it's kind of fun. I go grandparents, grandparents, Brad. I've never <laughs> like done that combination no, before. You've, you've had me in the middle as a sandwich one time. <laughs> yeah, but that was fun. Yeah. Never grandpa, grandpa, Brad. I didn't realize one of your grandparents just moved out here from the city. Yeah. They used to be in Kansas city and they moved down here like this past winter. Yeah. So they're all down here now. Just me and Caitlin are up in KC, but it was kind of fun going from, uh, <clears throat> it was just interesting. I was like, is this like a, 
What does this say? Went to my first set of grandparents' house. Grandma goes, Jake, do you want anything? We've got bananas or candy bars. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll take a banana. And then go to my second set of grandparents' house. And then grandma goes, Jake, do you need anything? We have donuts or cantaloupe. <laughs> so each of them offer me just like the know, food they, right they, away yeah. and like something really unhealthy at 10 30 a.m. And also like, and we have some fruit. Yeah. Maybe that's why you have the eating habits you do is because it's been passed down from generation to generation. Yeah. They have donuts like, on tap, you know, yeah. like they're that's they're, I was like, you just have donuts? She's like, yeah. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's a weekend. Um, but no, that grandma, one little quick story from there. She was, you know, we were, I didn't have a ton of time to hang out with them, you know, but trying to make the most of it. But we're talking, we're hanging out. And she asked me for uh, if any prayer request. Oh, you know? that's and nice. That was really nice. So we're talking and, you know, I share some stuff. And uh, she kind of pauses for a little bit. She goes, so nothing about a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Being dead serious. And I was like, oh, no, you know, that's fine. You know, I'm doing all right. She's like, we know you're going to find someone eventually. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I know. No, really, Jake. So seriously. I, 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 I really do have confidence. Like, like, we're not that worried. I can't imagine how worried you are. But I know, like, we've been through it. So I know you don't need to be worried. So nothing about a wife? Yeah, yeah. I get done with five minutes of prayer. Request. So so I didn't, I don't yeah. think I caught anything about a wife in there. So you're huh. worried about pride, you know, while you do all these fun shows with uh, Alvin. and But but you're not worried about maybe finding a lady? <laughs> To share your tour bus bed with? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of fun. So I'm coming fresh off of that into this yeah. podcast. I got, a, I got a sore throat and some shame <laughs> from my grandma. Nothing like old Southwest Missouri, you know, to, to, to get you get you back uh, grounded. Humble, yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick, um, let's talk about your shirt. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm sure you guys, have, I'm sure you guys have seen my shirt by now if you're on youtube.com. Uh, so I was going to your house last night to pick up the equipment to bring here. Thanks again. And you're welcome. And Isaac McDonald, your roommate, uh, was like, Hey, and we also have that package that, uh, you got sent to our house. And he kind of like, I was like, he was kind of laughing about it. And I was like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> like he, and I, at first I was like, does he think I like sent some package because I was embarrassed about something that I, you know, <laughs> like didn't want Catherine to see or something. I was like, I was like, I didn't, I don't think I ordered I any package. That wasn't me. And he goes, well, I'll be honest, Harrison and I opened it up. Uh, <laughs> That's a pretty classic move. Which is a felony. Uh, <laughs> I won't report it, but our, maybe one of our million fans will. Yeah. And, um, and Isaac is a big package <laughs> opener. Is he? So I didn't look at the name. Sorry. I'm like, well... <laughs> That's not that hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think you did, but they were just golf balls. Uh, you know, it's like, I have nothing to be embarrassed about, but I'm like, I'm just shocked that you wouldn't look at the name. I, I don't buy it. I a hundred percent think you looked at the name. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, turned out it was, uh, your boy, Josh, literally like, I think a week either before or after I talked about him came out with merch and it is a, a shirt. It's a, your boy, Josh shirt. It's about as starchy as a, of a shirt as they get. <laughs> Uh, not like it, ours at all. Not like ours on ghostrunners.life at all. Um, but I love it. And we kind of, I'm, I'm kind of reasoning behind who got it. Cause no one told me they were sending me this and it got sent to Jake's house. And the only people that know Jake's address are either the, either Justin Orm, Isaac, Isaac, Justin Orm, <laughs> Oregon boys, or the people that came, uh, the weekend where we played our basketball game and then, uh, had lattes at your house on Saturday. Yes. So it's one of those conglomerates of people or, Isaac and Harrison have been in on it this whole time and gave the address out and just, we don't know about it. So, uh, whoever it was, thank you so much. It is so fun. It's the, the, my favorite starchy shirt I've ever gotten and I will wear it until it is soft. And, <laughs> uh, it has been funny to like go on his account these days and like see how many other people are following him. Really? Now. It's yeah. starting to grow. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not because of me. I think it's just, he's just gaining momentum. But I think when I started following him, he had 35,000, which is still a lot. But now I think he's at like 42 or something. So here we go. He's getting there. Almost as many listeners as we have. Um, almost <laughs> on a daily basis. Um, so anyway, but thank you for this shirt. I really appreciate Whoever it. Whoever so, sent but, it. Yeah. You know who you are. If you know, you know. Yeah. So um, let's also talk about the Picky Eaters video just popping off. Dude, what in the world? The most relatable video, apparently. What like, in the world? Everyone. Like, I don't think it had, I, I don't know, the, remember the numbers very well, but it didn't have as many views as some of our like our biggest video, but it had way more comments than any other video. Oh, I thought you were talking about TikTok. Oh, have did you, it go off on TikTok? Oh yeah. It's got like um, TikTok and Instagram reels. Oh, it, like, I knew that up. the Airbnb one kind of blew up on TikTok. Oh, you so you that? don't even know. No, dude, you don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I've been in the mountains. <laughs> Tell me. TikTok, are we famous? Uh, and by I mean, we, I mean not me because I'm not in it, but <laughs> coincidence. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. The, thanks a lot, guys, for the house project. Oh, sorry. sorry what do we ahead. got? 
I don't, holy cow. 708,000 views. That's what I'm saying. Every DIY house project, 922 <laughs> views. <laughs> that was a good video. Trey and I were talking I, about that. I liked it. Yeah. We were like, I'm surprised that one, and maybe it just lacks some relatability, but as far as like content goes, I thought yeah. it was one of our better videos. I think it could have been more relatable if we did something besides a, a coffee table. Like if we were like trying to patch Renovate. some drywall or yeah. something. Like, yeah. But, and, and maybe if we had like a, guy and a girl like working together more but yeah anyway but it was i thought it was funny thank you yeah it was a good video yeah. instagram reels pig eaters four hundred twelve thousand. that's crazy i did see that one and i thought maybe that was because because i saw trey reposted that one but but like the amount of people that commented like i totally understand this like You're it was more easily the most relatable because yeah. i i was just i've always been looking at the youtube stuff and like yeah it popped off comments wise on yeah. youtube so anyway that was awesome yeah it was fun we got a uh, I think what's coming up next. I think or the what's truck, today. Yeah. Monday is truck drivers is the truck video. The, yeah. The pickup trucks. And then what? Or no, wait, I think, or do we switch them up? Uh, no, I just remembered. I think we didn't want to post. We were talking about this without you, like two, two Brad videos back to back. Sense. Yeah. So, um, so I don't maybe remember. is it the dating one then? I think that one's taken a while. So that one's oh, okay. not yet. That one is a little complicated. Yeah. What about, people are excited to see that one. What was the other one we did? Oh, uh, night owls versus early birds. That's probably the other one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. one. Gotcha. Um, we missed you this week again though. Did you we shot, uh, two more videos and, and they're, they're you. probably going to be like our best ones yet. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trey really didn't know if he missed you or not, you know, but no, uh, which ones did we shoot? Is that, um, is that okay to tell? Yeah, one was called like uh, it's kind of an interesting premise. I don't it's know. Called about like this. Uh, when your worst employee's on vacation, um, <laughs> and the other one's called it's, it's, it's when called you have a lot of room good... driving because there's only two people and they're not the big boys. <laughs> um, I know we shot one video called like adulthood L's. Oh, you did shoot that one. I was I was excited about that one. Yeah, so that oh, was I'm just kind of bummed that I wasn't. So in just that like one. yeah, just random stuff. Yeah, and maybe it'll be relatable, but just like. I think that was you missed really trash relatable. day and you're yeah. like, dang it. Right. Like, I'm so, or you forget to check into your Southwest flight. Right. Um, you miss your exit, stuff like that. Yeah. And then what was the other one we shot? I'm going through our notes now to try to find it. I can't even remember what I did a few days ago. <laughs> um, we shot the, oh wait, no, the people pleasers video. We already shot. That was without you, right? Dude, why can't I find People pleasers. Yeah, that was without me too. So maybe that was the same one. What did I shoot? No, that was that was probably it. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Because you shot those other two. You shot the single versus married and the picky eaters one without me as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There it is. There it is. There so it is. people pleasers. <clears throat> yeah, which I was kind of talking about on the Just Jake episode. It like revealed some things yeah, about me. It I was just like, it. oh, this is like, there's some like areas in my life where I should probably like not care really? as much whether people think about me. Yeah. While we're shooting the video, I was yeah. like, oh. You're like getting introspective. Yeah, like, kind of was. Can I take a minute real quick, yeah. please? Uh, <laughs> I some time. I need to think about this. Um, I feel like, yeah, I wonder if that's everybody. I wonder if, and maybe it is, and maybe that's why it's going to I guess off. we'll see. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Um, you got any stories for me? Colorado? Yeah, Journeys Colorado was fun. Um, I mean, the best part was the drive, you know? <laughs> um, no, it was fun, man. I like Colorado a lot in the summertime. It's such a, Colorado's such a vibe, dude. It's just like, <laughs> like, like the, the people, like, you know, everybody having like the cargo on the top rack of their car or like some, yeah. some kind of like kayak or like, you know, or somebody, they're always driving like the smaller trucks, like Toyota Tacomas or something. I'm just like, I, I like this. Yeah. I like this vibe a lot. Um, I mean, nothing like crazy, crazy, but, um, we did a lot of hiking, but I mean like as in hiking as in like, you know, with, with Hattie. So it was like a mile and a half probably okay. at the most, you know, at a time. She was walking it though. She loved it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, for the most part, there was one day where she was kind of struggling the first day she did it, um, she didn't really understand like how much you had to <laughs> look at the ground while you're walking. Oh, okay. And so she almost fell a few times and got nervous from that. And so, but yeah, she was great. Um, yeah, I went on some hikes, uh, went to see this like troll. They have like this huge wooden <laughs> troll in Breckenridge, like out on this trail. It's, it's like, I mean, 30, 40 feet tall. It's made out of wood and it was pretty cool. Um, and there was a trail right by where we were staying or Airbnb or whatever. And it was, uh, like basically you only had to walk like five, 10 minutes maybe. And then there was like this clearing in the forest. And I don't even know what the original purpose of it was, or if they were like trying to clear out the, the trees to make something like a barn or bonfire or whatever. But like, we all just went there as like my, my, all my cousins and Hattie and all these little kids. And they just 
played there for like four hours. Like they just loved it. Like we went there multiple days and they just like made a city in there basically. Like they were, you know, gathering sticks to make a fire and they were doing this and you know, whatever, like all these different things. Hattie was like planting flowers and like, like I, f- I feel like out of all the things we did, that's going to be the thing they look back on and be like, remember that fort that we made? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like awesome. we pay all this money for this, this and this. And they're like, yeah, we just love playing by themselves. But um, my favorite thing that we did was my dad and my uncle and my brother-in-law and I, we went to the top of, it's called Vail Pass, I think. Um, and basically we did like a 15 mile downhill bike ride down like a mountain. Whoa. And it was awesome. Like it's a trail. It's not like I'm like mountain biking and stuff, like doing all the jumps But still, it's not on a road? Uh, it's on like a road that's for bikes only pretty oh, much. Okay, like okay, it's like, okay. it's like paved and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was so fun though. Like I bet sometimes we were going 30, 35 miles an hour that's down, sweet. down the mountain. So how do, you, how do you do on a bike? Uh, I'm not great at turning, but okay. I mean, straight. You're that good. is good. <laughs> <You're going straight. laughs> yeah. There were a few times there were some S curves, you know, mm-hmm. and the first S I did pretty well. Second S I had to slow down pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time, I mean, there's some people out there like, First of all, there's people going up the mountain and every time I'm just like, do you either judge me super hard that I'm going downhill or do you like just feel very like, are you very jealous of me right now? You know, like, yeah, maybe they have to go uphill for something. They're just like miserable. They forgot their car keys at home. (laughs) Yeah, maybe so. And so, um, but, but there's people that are like really experienced. And so there was one time I feel like I was going pretty fast down this hill and it was a pretty good curve. And so I kind of, I, I didn't see anybody coming towards me obviously. And so I, kind of veered into the left side of the road to take a curve. And there was a guy that I didn't know, like about to pass me. And he's like, whoa, on your left. And I was like, (laughs) you know, I'm I'm not, I'm not the most sure, sure with my hands when I'm turning. And so (laughs) I kind of scooted back over and he flew past. I mean, he was going so fast, but uh, it was crazy fun. If you're in that area, I mean, Breckenridge Vale, we stayed in Silverthorne. If you're in that area, it was like $50 for this rental but it, the 14 mile ride took like an hour and we stopped multiple times to like take in the scenery. Um, That's something I would never think to do, but I think I would love it. It was my, just my uncle. Just rent a bike and go downhill. Yeah. My, that sounds awesome. Exactly. Like in it was the mountains? Like, I mean, it, you were still sore at the end of it and stuff and you're still kind of tired, but for the most part, yeah, you're just, you're mostly sore from your hands on the brakes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. My fingers yeah. Uh, hurt from biking. Yeah. My dad and uncle had done it before because my dad is a big biker. He like had done bike across Kansas like 10 times, I think. And so oh. like he did it almost every summer for a while. And so it was kind of fun seeing him and his element, like, cause he was flying around, uh, you know, he was in the lead most of the time. And so anyway, that was, that was really fun. Um, one of the things that I think it was really, fu- it ended up being fine, but we stayed in line. There was a crepe place in Breckenridge crepes a la carte. And there was probably 20 people in front of us in line. And we'd heard it was really good. We waited for two hours for these crepes. Oh, that's too long for some crepes. <laughs> yeah. It was way too long. But uh, I apparently like they have to make them fresh or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. I, don't I mean, know. whatever. <laughs> uh, but what do you know? Do you know if you imagine crepes, what do you what do you think they look like? I think of a thin pancake. Me too. Because of Talladega Nights? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's why I kept like quoting the whole time. Just say I like crepes. Um, <laughs> yeah. And like I think of a thin pancake and maybe if you get something with it, then they roll them up or something. And it's like a like a taquito looking thing. Taquito looking thing. Uh, <laughs> and, but, but apparently like the European style is more like a pizza, like, like they fold it in on each other and it was amazing. Yeah. It was very good. What's on, what's worth, in the, on the pizza pie? I mean, anything you actually, one of them I ordered, I ordered one for me and one for Hattie, but I ate like half a Hattie's. Um, Hattie got Nutella with strawberries. That's what I would get. Yeah. They they have sweet and they have savory. So she got that. I got a pepperoni pizza one because people, people in line, we had, we had plenty of time to talk. You want to a them. donut or a cantaloupe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We had people in line and like, they were like, oh, we come here all the time. It's totally worth the wait. Um, I always get the pepperoni pizza one. I'm like, really? food is not worth any kind of weight like that. You don't it, think so? It's waste. Really? Yeah. It's waste. And yeah. On half vacation? A day. You don't, you don't, you don't Not ever, two like, hours, two hours is precious time on vacation. That's fair. I, I agreed with that. Like, and my sister who was the one that really wanted to do it, uh, she was like, yeah, if I would have known it was taking two hours, I would have done this, but yeah, two hours is precious time. Yeah. Anytime, anywhere you're at, but you're right. But it was, it was fun. We got time with my mom. I was going to say, if you're like, if you're with some like fun people, yeah. lines can be fun. Luckily, no one with us were like the haters of lines. Like, yeah. like a lot of people in our family would have like 
freaked out after 15 minutes and been like, this is no, let's, mm-hmm. let's go somewhere else. Kind of like maybe you would do. Yeah. I'll just go to McDonald's. It's three pancakes, for like $3. They're <laughs> we, pretty can, thin. we can roll them up and put it in a pizza <laughs> yeah. if you really want to. But, uh, so yeah, that's, that's not that great of a story, but it's just like, we just sat in lines for crepes the whole time. So nice. if you're interested in going there, go there early in the morning or something, I guess. But, um, nice. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we saw mountain goats. Okay. Ever seen them? I don't know how to distinguish between a mountain goat and a regular goat, but yeah, I think I've seen them. I think uh, they have horns. Do I regular goats have horns? Yeah. Okay, crap. I don't know. <laughs> They're on the mountain? <laughs> yeah, dude, you see them on a mountain. Do you remember we watched that video in your car but when we were waiting for the, <laughs> the pickle The ball? Ibex. Yeah. Yeah. And they, like, they can basically climb up a 90 degree wall almost. Yeah. We saw that. We like watched these mountain ibex? goats. No, maybe they were ibex. I don't think so. Mountain goats? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing? Um but they like scaled like these walls that were like so steep and it was so cool to watch. Can't say I've seen that. That's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And also I wasn't sure how you like went up to like pet them. Like she's like has no fear of pets right now, which is really fun. Cause you do. Yeah, I do. Uh, all, almost all of them. Um, but she like went up to pet them and she pet one of them and it kind of like ran away. And then she went to go pet another one. I was like, I don't know if this is like a petting zoo. I think they might get territorial. So I, I stopped her. <laughs> was that the right call? I don't know. Did With it look wild like a, a, mountain goats? a mama goat? The, the first one she touched was a baby, but then I thought maybe the mama was going to get territorial over the babe. I don't know. Okay. Never had a daughter around goats. Maybe someday. Yeah. Uh, hope to. You, wanna, you want me to pray about it real <laughs> yeah. quick? My grandma's on it. It's so fine. Yeah, Heavenly Father. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, Colorado overall was great. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think this is, this is more serious, I guess, but like, I feel like some people in my family are getting old. Some, I mean, kids are getting old in my some, family. Some of them are getting older. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, like different phase. It's just like, like I've, I've, I've started to like be more reflective of like, we're just in a phase right now. That's going to be fleeting. Like, and I think that's just life in general. Like you're eventually going to maybe five years, you're not going to be in nearly the same phase you are right now. So it's like, I just, I just felt like the conviction of like, I need to embrace now for what it is. Like no matter if it's a, a sad thing that you're going through or a happy thing you're going through, like just embrace what's going on because it's going to be gone soon enough. Like, like my, like the oldest generation of my family, they're getting old, you know, like, like my dad's getting older and it's like, I don't want to look back on this and be like, Oh, I, I didn't take advantage of the time I have with my dad. You know what I mean? Or like Hattie is four, but I see my niece that's eight and she's like completely different. And I'm like, that's going to be there before I know it. So anyway, just, just, just thinking about that. My grandpa's getting uh, four toes removed tomorrow. So I know what you mean about fleeting and getting <laughs> old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously. Like, He's got to embrace them yeah. tonight. I, yeah. Just wiggle those things. Yeah. I embraced them when go, I went over there. Go to there. the market. I, you I, know. I put them on me and I, I, like I interlocked my hands with his toes. I was like, I'm going to miss these. I'm going to, I'm going to miss you. I miss these. You and understand the, me? The gangrene got all over my fingers, but I, I wanted to embrace it. Kind of like what you were saying. Yeah. I was like, this is, this is a I fleeting moment. Yeah. Need, yeah. This is going away. Right. Tomorrow. That's yeah. That's, tomorrow. That's crazy. I so. was talking to him. I was like, good for you. You know, you don't hear about gangrene much these days. You know no. what? Like, are you, I don't even you also know have exactly. polio? Yeah. Like what else is going on? <laughs> right. You got <laughs> smallpox in there too, Gramps. Yeah. <laughs> A little trench foot going on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear about gangrene much, but oh man, no, no. he should be fine. He's at least looking forward to the, or not looking forward to it. He doesn't mind the surgery. I think he's just like, I don't want to have to rehab. Like yeah, now, I'm gonna, not, now I'm not gonna be able to walk. Like that's gonna for, be annoying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he, that's too bad, but well, well put though, Brad. I agree. Yeah, thank you. Just so so seize the day, guys. Mm. Carpe diem. You know. Oh, I had I had lunch with uh, my friend Greg Peterson. Nice. And we went to Chick Fil A, uh, and Domi was there. And my my lunch with Greg was like two and a half hours long. We just talked and caught up. I bet uh, Greg's conversation with Domi was at least thirty minutes of that. No way. They talked forever. So Greg, my friend Greg, is <laughs> just a, him and Domi for thirty minutes. <laughs> I mean, Domi. So Domi has that personality that's like. Like she just like keeps pushing like that, like the whole, you should really go Catholic thing is like, cause she kept like being like, no, seriously, you should do this. You should do this. I think you should do this. And you also know? it's just like a Latin America, like cultural thing yes. to like talk and like you prioritize people over like work or responsibilities. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes seriously though, I remember yeah. like people, well, whatever. Yeah. But, but like, yeah, she, she embraces that aspect of her job. We'll say that's, that's yeah. You know, she, she, she was working. She was, she was in, there wasn't very many people there anyway. Um, but so Greg is a big agriculture guy. He's a farmer. He goes and speaks. He has all these videos that have like gone viral on YouTube and um, is like very, very well educated in farming. And Domi like just watched a, just listened to a podcast basically. And was like, now tell me about these chemicals and like ask uh. all these questions. And they went back and forth. And it was actually, it, it was one of those things where it felt like Domi, it felt like Greg didn't realize that Domi was like just asking very 
pointed questions, but not in like a negative way. It, she was just like, like, like she was just like, like it felt like she was like accusing Greg of things or like taking a stance, but really she was just asking questions, but like that Latin American, like feel to it of like very blunt and very honest. And I think it got, I got Greg uncomfortable, but at the same time, Greg's passionate enough about it that like, Greg was like, well, I need to tell you about this stuff. <laughs> and so by the end of it, Greg was like writing down URLs for her to like look at and like articles wow. that he had written and stuff. It's and, beautiful. Uh, anyway, it was just, it just cracked me up because Greg listens to the podcast. He knows who Domi is from that. And now mm-hmm. they're like having this conversation. <laughs> so anyway, if you ever go to the, the Chipotle on mission or in mission, Chick-fil-A, uh, that's what I meant. Chick-fil-A on in mission, Kansas during lunchtime. You'll Talk to Domi. Domi. Yeah. So. Nice girl. She can never remember your name, but uh, she's a nice woman. <laughs> she she did. She asked me, "What about your friend who's doing doing the comedy? The comedy? He? I haven't seen him in a long time. I haven't seen him. No, I haven't seen him. He's funny." And and Greg's like, "My this guy's really funny too." Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I think maybe Greg said this guy's a comedian too. I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm in the podcast." Anyway, um, but yeah, it was fun times. I went to take a nap last week, and as I was falling asleep, I don't know if it was a dream. Uh, it didn't feel like I was asleep. Obviously, I guess it could have been. But it felt like as I was falling asleep, there was a little rustling in my pillowcase. It felt like it. And I was like, what in the world? I spring up out of bed. I'm like trying to like dump it. I was like, what in the world was that? Obviously, like there's that. like nothing in there. Yeah. But I'm just like, that. I mean, that felt so real. Whatever. I don't think much of it. You know, probably six hours goes by. Later that night, I'm home. And I see my first mouse ever. No, no, in no, our no, house. no, no, no. You think it was in your? You think it was in your pillowcase? I'm just saying it's pretty coincidental. <laughs> 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 the same day I thought I heard something in my pillowcase, I saw a mouse. First time we've seen a mouse in the house. In the kitchen, or where'd you see it? So in the kitchen, which makes sense. We, I guess, we had seen mice in in the house before, but that was when we opened up the uh, <laughs> the weird part of our fireplace, and there were my, mice down underneath. Oh yeah. It. Uh, the patrons my- remember that was like the first video we ever posted. The for- weird part of your fireplace. The weird There's, part. <laughs> we called it the, um, I'll break, break it up into two words here, but uh, the ash. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Hole. Right. This is what we call oh, you're it. Tar- oh, this was in your current house. Current house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. as soon as we moved in, Isaac right. was like, whoa, our fireplace has like a trap door. And he's like, whoa, there's mice down here. I'm going to shovel this ash on them. And then we actually left the door open and that led to some mice problems. But um, <laughs> haven't seen them for like seven months, eight months now. How did you react when you saw it? Uh... Not as like skittish as I normally am with mice because this mouse was so terrified of me. He okay. was like, it was like Scooby-Doo starting his run. He like wasn't going anywhere <laughs> and then he kind of fell over. And so it, it was humiliating for the mouse. Yeah. You know, and I got to stand over him. So like, did, you, did you get it? Get it? What do you mean? Like trap it? I don't know. Oh no, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just standing there in the I kitchen. I stomp on that thing. And no, <laughs> I'm not making contact with that mouse, but. Where'd it go? Uh, under the oven. Mm-hmm. that's what they do it's warm that's what they do yeah they love it down there so i haven't seen any more but i've heard some heard some things that's too bad and my pillowcase is fine you gonna set some traps probably should probably should i'm but, out of town now so but yeah we're moving in four months so maybe just cut our losses are you, you know you're gonna move yeah i think i'm gonna buy a house yeah that's the plan whenever okay. we're done living there oh speaking of living there <laughs> when i went to leave um to come down here on friday um uh, in Kansas city it's been about 100 degrees like this entire week, like not even exaggerating. Like it has been 100 degrees. It's hot everywhere right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm leaving. Neighbor Judy's there. Always good when neighbor Judy's, you know, in the picture and stories. Of course. And uh, she's just chilling on her front porch. And she's like, are you heading out? I'm like, yeah, I'm going out of town this weekend. You know, keep an eye on her for me or whatever. <laughs> just, you know, talking to old people. Yep. And I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I locked myself out of the house. Oh, no. I was like, oh, no. She's like, I don't know why I had to water these flowers. I don't know why I chose today to water these. I was like, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Um, they needed it. Let's figure this out. And so I go over to her, her porch and, uh, you know, I'm asking, do you have any kind of spare key anywhere? Do you have any unlocked windows? Maybe um, is there like your garage door. Can I open it manually? You have a garage door open anywhere? You know, nothing's working. I'm going, you know, problem solver mode. Then I'm trying to go MacGyver mode. I go get Isaac's screwdriver. Um, I'm trying to like undo her handle or maybe it's the screen oh. door. And so I'm like, okay, this seems like I'm going to just take this off. Like that's probably not as, as secure as the front door. Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking into that or whatever. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to take it off. Like I thought I was going to, but then we find out husband Bob mm-hmm. is inside the house. It's coming from inside the house. What? However, Bob cannot walk on his own. Oh shoot. So Bob is stuck in the recliner. He can stand up, but he can't get to his walker. And so it's a very high stress, high sweat situation to where we're like, what do we do exactly? It's just me and oh, Judy yeah. trying to figure this out. Okay. 
Okay. And so, yeah, I'm doing like laps around the house, trying to find like ways in. Um, she's just screaming at Bob through the window. Bob, Bob, can you even hear me? <laughs> Are you even listening to me, Bob? Bob's and, just watching the prices, right? Just yeah, recliner, has just no loving idea. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had no idea she's even gone, probably. Bobby. And uh eventually what it comes down to, we couldn't find a way in. And so we just resort to praying and cheering on Bob. Really? And so Judy and I shared a prayer together. Yeah. And uh Bob gets up. He so he's able to stand up, which that alone took like a minute or two. Right. And so we're like, oh, that those don't look like too strong of legs. Like he's just like wobbling. Does he have a walker? Yeah, but it's about five, six feet away. Okay. So he's got to make the walk to there. And dude, it was like, I mean, I've been watching the Olympics all week and this was better than that. It was awesome. You could see him? Yeah. We, so we're like peeking in through the windows. We're like, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Push for, for America. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, what's the world record pace on this? <laughs> and, but, but then it got kind of scary because it was like, okay, if he falls, now we're really going to have a problem. If he falls, you break that glass. Right. Okay. That was like an... I was instantly. Uh, yeah, I was like, do I like you take off your shirt so you're you're ripped and you put it around your your hand and you just punch ooh, through. That I was thing. gonna go elbow. Oh really? I was trying to envision it. I was like, well, I've never had That's to break glass hard, before. You had to really put the elbow into it. Oh, not like this. I would go like I'm elbowing someone in basketball. Like I would have like my oh, my sure. back to like the kind door. Of shoulder down elbow. Yeah, okay. I think you get some torque in there. Okay. Yeah. That was the route I was gonna go. <laughs> like, you mean like a tomahawk elbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the <laughs> But as I'm like, I'm staring at this glass. I'm like, man, that doesn't look that thin for a screen door. Like okay. that's going to hurt. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, I guess like hopefully Judy's okay with it. Like I'm, I'm imagining everything that could happen. Like right. I don't even, do we call 911 and then I break the glass? I'm just like fully expecting him to fall yeah. over. And he never did. He made it to the walker. Good for and him. And he made it to the door. And uh, I don't even know if Bob realized he saved the day. I, I truly don't know if he knew why we needed him to come to the door. Yeah. But he was a hero and Is that's he all that matters. older than Judy? Or no, just, he, just looks, he looks great. Yeah, huh. he just, um, I don't know how many toes he had. I didn't get a, I didn't sure. get a count on that. I should have asked. Yeah, it's tough. I would have loved walk. to have run my fingers through him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I seemed like he was walking fine once he had the walker. So that was kind of fun. That's yeah. what my weekend started That's off an adventure. with. Yeah, I just got out of shower, ready to have a good weekend, yeah. make the three hour drive. And I'm like, well, I'm soaking wet again. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm going to go back in and change. <laughs> Got a, got a mouse in my pillow anyway. So <laughs> gotta go check on Stuart Little. Um, so yeah, that's you said you've been like super busy having fun lately. Is yeah, right? uh, just full schedule. I mean, today's another example of it. I'm just like, as soon as I woke up, go to one grandparent's house, another grandparent's house, come back here, right? Reintroduce you to my uncle, which that was beautiful to see. Yeah. We already talked about that. Yeah. Brad's old baseball coach happens to be my uncle. He was the one who saw Brad unable to get over the fence that <laughs> fateful February day. Yeah. Or whatever. I told him, I was like, it's still an inside joke on the podcast. Like, People love it. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I remember that. Remember halfway through practice, we were like, wait, where's Brad? Oh, wait, I saw him <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, but yeah, just yeah, been loving, fun. just filling my schedule to the brim. What are you uh, doing? Mostly. Just like hanging out with people, you know, just yeah. like work has been slightly more than normal. You know, the jean shorts um, addition. Ooh, that, that's like three voice cracks in a row there. Somebody should count, count the voice <clears throat> cracks here. Um. Gene Schwartz has added a little bit. We just shot a proposal video, which is a little uh, more to edit. It's kind of like the wedding video we did, but we're really spoofing like proposals. We drove like 45 minutes out of the city to the spot, got some extras involved. Nancy and Scott were there. Oh. Brad's parents, yeah, according right. to Lindsay. They were, I thought they were on vacation. How'd that work? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, <laughs> you yeah, guys should have leaned into that. Like we should have, we should have all convinced Lindsay that they were really my parents. Dude, Isaac, Isaac came too. Okay. And he helped and we were just loving Scott. He's so funny, dude. Like even when the camera wasn't rolling, he would just like, he was acting. It was really? like, you don't really need to do this right now, but he was doing it and What's it was funny. What's that called? Method acting? Like when yeah, he's he really, like always into character. He is the father of the bride. <laughs> always. Like on the way there, he was, yeah, he was complaining about something. Uh, yeah. Know? Yeah. He's like, ah, he never finished his college degree. Uh, <laughs> right. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just been very busy and it seems like everyone just wants to hang out. It's easy to make plans right now. It's really? easy to find friends to hang out with. And yeah. so I'm just trying to do something different every night, different group of friends every night. I wonder if and there's like psychology to like the end of July, like realizing like, whoa, it's almost August and August is like the end of summer. School almost starts. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I know that we're obviously not in school anymore, but I wonder if there's psychologically like it's getting nor towards the end. Let's do everything. Like, yeah. So so yeah, I just feel it's felt like college, like the past like three, four weeks. That's I'm just awesome. saying yes to everything. I'm, yeah. I don't, I leave at 9 a.m. I don't get back till midnight. Love it. And uh, I, I don't respond to a lot of texts, which I feel bad <laughs> about, but it's just like, man, I'm just, I'm loving life so much right now and yeah. just living it up. So that's awesome, dude. 
It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best one yet. Good time. <laughs> Dude, I've never, I've never struggled with voice cracking. Like, did you go through a puberty stage where you've cracked a lot? I don't remember it being that bad when I was 12, 13 or whatever. And I remember, I've never had it like this either from a sore throat. This seems like rare to me. Really? And it's getting worse right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you said something earlier when you walked in and I was like, I didn't even notice it. <clears throat> I, I've noticed a few now. Yeah. I don't know. It's just allergies. I think it's just like when I fell asleep, I just had like some drainage that's like just affecting my throat. Like I don't, I feel great. Right. That's I just, funny. I'm a weak talker. That's and funny. Got to do another pod tomorrow, but I'll be all right. <laughs> great times. Oh man. Uh, can I tell you about basketball real quick? We missed you. Oh yeah. Um, the only thing I know about it is Sammy sent a text that said, <laughs> like in all capital letters, I love this team. <laughs> I love that. I was uh, like, I got to get the context of this later. <laughs> it was, uh, it was just one of those games. Like nothing was going like that. Great. And honestly, I don't remember. It's been six days. It feels like forever. But right. I think we were down. Of course, Scott, you know, scoreboard Scott, he knows. Yeah. And he was like, we were down 11 with 10 minutes to go. <laughs> and so it really was like, you know, we're losing and it's getting worse. Like yeah. the trajectory is like they are slowly beating us by, you know, seven, now like eight, the now nine. the probability is like going up lower, for the, lower. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, it's like they're making runs. They're up by 11 with 10 minutes left. And then uh, Isaac really turned it up a notch, which is fun to see. Like, yeah. uh, there was no one on the court that night that could guard him. And so he was going to the rim and like finishing, which like yes. he goes to the rim a lot. Yes. Sometimes they go in. Yes. But this time they were all going in. That's awesome. Um, Josh was posting up his man and just working him. Once they started double teaming him, he kicked it out for, to me for a couple uh, shots. Yeah. I don't know why I went back and forth between shots and threes. Um, and so, yeah, I just don't know if we missed a shot the last five minutes. It was just awesome. Just everything was falling. And we came back one by five or six or something. Dude, but, that's awesome. Um, Scott was uh, Scott and Sammy. They just they bring the energy of like, yeah. really being invested in the team. Like, I'm sure they were very pumped about it. So last week, two games ago, <clears throat> you know, beforehand, we all just wear white T-shirts. No one has any jersey on. No one has any numbers. Mm -hmm. So you go and you just you write down everyone's name. And whenever I check in, I just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I tell people later, hey, you're number six tonight. I'm like, OK, cool. Of course, you're always big double zero. Double zero. Big yeah. daddy's double zero. <laughs> I always put you down for that. <clears throat> uh, but Sammy has checked us in the last two weeks. And so two games ago, you know, he's asking everybody, what number do you want to be? What number do you want to be? And I'm like, uh -huh. I, I do not care. Just put me down sure. for anything. And, uh, this week again, he's like, whatever you want to be. I'm like, I don't care. You're right. Don't anything. It doesn't matter. He's like, really? You don't care. I'm like, I do not. It does not matter to me. I don't care. Especially when you don't <clears throat> literally have a number on your Jersey. Well, I'm here to say, turns out I do care because when he puts you down for 23 and, <laughs> and, and, and like everyone is just like a single digit number. All right. What's your number, man? 23 oh we got white michael over here the ref literally says we got white michael jordan over here i'm like gosh dang it okay any number but that sammy why would you put me down for 23 sammy from now on jake has to be number 23 every time <laughs> i'm getting there early to sign myself in I you're mean, gonna put yourself as two and i'm gonna come back and be like you put a three at the end of that <laughs> like even be so i had already said something to isaac or whatever i was like i don't know why i'm so self-conscious about being number 23 and then literally i get the first foul call and then the ref like oh white michael jordan <laughs> over here then the other ref the next time i foul he was like oh 23 nice man like they're both just ganging up on me without even knowing that i was already self-conscious like this is what i'm talking about that's amazing dude. oh yeah i went i went so quickly from like i don't care at all yeah to like, it's a number for the love of god don't make me be 23 it's so embarrassing <laughs> sammy probably was frustrated with that you were like dude i don't care like like it's just wreck basketball you fool why are you asking me and he's like i'll show him <laughs> next yeah, time so. he puts he's gonna put eight slash 24 oh okay <laughs> yeah. couldn't decide between one or the other huh <laughs> yeah, yeah he's dead you know it just says lebron james for your number <laughs> what in the world lbj yeah those are roman numerals i guess uh yeah <laughs> uh so yeah that was my main takeaway from basketball i'm the number 23 now so are we in the playoffs for sure now or we, we have still, to win we still tomorrow do. tonight have you look at it yeah um uh, okay yeah win and we're in i'll win okay okay and then you'll be in and then we're in and then you'll be saved just win and then you'll be saved um uh here's just one thing this is more of a correct opinions type segment because it's like oh. it's like a silly thing that's going on in the world that i wanted to talk about because i heard about it have you heard about how girls are having these parties um, for jewelry. It's kind of like a Rodan and Fields kind of like MLM, I think. Okay. Um, where it's like, Hey, let me, let me invite all these people in and then you get a free one. But, um, they're having these parties for jewelry that get welded onto you. Oh, like the jewelry itself is like really skinny and 
like you can't take it off. It just gets welded on. I didn't know they were doing parties for it. I've seen like besties on Instagram. Like, you know, your besties when you weld on BFF bracelets together. Like I've seen people doing that. But well, not in the party atmosphere. I guess I just don't understand what's so inconvenient about a clasp. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like you have to, like, if it's get welded on and, and then I hear like, well, but you can just, you can just rip it off. Like if you, if you really need to take it off, oh. just, just rip it off. Like, like somebody was like, I'm kind of concerned that maybe like my kid's going to take it off. Shark diving. And they're like, oh, you can just you can just rip it off if you need to. And it's like, well, then it doesn't seem that big of a deal to be welded. It's like it's basically the same strength as like when you go into a concert and they give you a green wristband. Exactly. It's basically that. It's pretty much the same thing as if you're at Silver Dollar City Young Christians weekend and you have they have the access to the Tate concert at the end. Of it. Like newsboys are coming on at the headliner. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I just it just seems I like have a thought funny you could fad. rip it off. Yeah, that seems so weak. And and they're not cheap either. They're like fifty bucks or something like that. For the welding. For yeah, I guess so. And so maybe there's a business idea. We say, just, like, yeah, we we are like micro welders. <laughs> yeah. We come with like a tiny little blowtorch, tiny little mask for ourselves too. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> okay. Uh yes. Very nice. So you have a C nine eight seven here. Okay. You know, whatever. Yeah. I it just it's just a funny, funny new trend, I guess. That's like I, think, I have to get it welded on to yeah. me. Yeah why it's the gateway drug to a tattoo maybe it's like this feels permanent even though it's not maybe tattoo would get pretty permanent and maybe that's why i don't like it because i don't want a tattoo ever i don't <laughs> want to be anything permanent like that it's in the same realm yeah do we want to get some questions stevie is he sleeping no he's awake <laughs> yeah i have a few, i have a few questions for you all right i hope he i hope maybe some of these so so here you can take my seat so as I was driving down here, I thought to myself, you know, this is Steve Triplett country. This is the triplet land where that triplets built. And I have a few questions just about my drive from Kansas City to Statford, Missouri. Strap Strat <laughs> Stratford, Missouri. You can um, have out if you want, but no worries. Oh, I look better. Yeah, it feels kind of I want to hear him say no, Stafford again. <laughs> That's okay. Does it matter? Here, 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 Does here. it matter? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the microphone's right there, so pull it down. You see that microphone? There you go. There you go. Breaker, breaker. Um, oh, what's this? Yeah, it's it's double. Good. It's good. All right, get in, get in there. <laughs> okay, the Hello. first one. The first one is: What's your favorite cheese from the Osceola Cheese Factory? Never been there. What? Are you serious? <laughs> no, it's cheese. No, it's good cheese. No, I've got. Have you been trust. there? No, I've never been there. Seriously? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> There's like thousands of cheeses. They have chocolate cheese. Please tell me you didn't stop on your way down here. You no, did, but you? I'm going to stop on the way back oh, just to boy. spite you guys. You know what? I'm married to Trish Triplett. You need to go check our refrigerator out right now. What? We've got more. Che- we've got more cheese in there and old seal with cheese. Because she's a big cheese girl. Oh or? Lord. <laughs> Does oh, she- you know what? I almost, I almost brought you guys in a bologna sandwich because that's what I had for lunch. Really? <laughs> and Still- I remember you talking. Do they even make bologna anymore? They like, do. Oh, apparently. <laughs> How often do you have bologna? Had it twice today. No, we have it. A little <laughs> breakfast bologna. <laughs> it's good. I thought you were gonna say twice this week. <laughs> yeah. Was it breakfast or was it a snack the second time? Breakfast. Okay. Breakfast and then a lot lunch. Okay. Well, maybe these aren't gonna be. So you haven't. Have you ever uh, heard of Patricia's? It's a store. Well, I think I heard, but I we're not going to talk. It about says it's. It. They had a billboard that said "Couples that play together stay together." <laughs> I can only right. imagine that's that's pickleball. Maybe yeah. what, what, we'll, pa- call, we'll pa- call it pickleball. Patricia's pickleball. <laughs> go there before you go to get the cheese. Yeah, they said they. Well, I looked at their website and it said something about. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it is pickleball. Maybe it says their their tagline is "Where fun and fantasy meet." <laughs> Oh, it's like fantasy football. Oh, it's fantasy football factory, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, get, get <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know if that was like a staple of yours in, in Springfield that you and Trisha go on date nights because um, it's uh, couples that play together, stay together. Do you think that's true? Uh, <laughs> you threw me on that one. I was gonna, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, okay, I okay. <laughs> Trish, I need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure she would. If, if she's embarrassed, I'm sure. Uh, or if you're embarrassed. Uh, do you know where the town of Fairplay got its name? I just want to know. I do not, but I was just on the phone with them. I, I should have asked them. With the whole, what do you mean with them? <laughs> with them. <laughs> I was on the phone with Fairplay. I have two customers. I okay. just put their order in for them. 
You're doing work on a Sunday? Yeah. Come my on. My busiest day. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, because of. Fuel up. Yeah, you get the baloney going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what about now the town halfway? Halfway. I do know why halfway. Between what? Half halfway. <laughs> no, uh Bolivar Buffalo. Okay. Yep. Those are the two big big uh posts back Huge. in the day. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. I was just curious what fair play. Do you have any guesses? I have no idea. Okay, cool. Uh <laughs> what's your go-to local restaurant, either in Stratford or uh like non-chain? Like if you're if you're going out. You got, a, you got a place? Mm, yeah, but all larger chains that we like the most. Like what? IHOP? No. What's our, uh, Lord? Lone Star Steakhouse? Best steak in Springfield. I don't know. Is that a, I mean, it's got to be a chain. Lone yeah. Star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure here. it is. Okay. Yeah. And then lastly, how fantastic are the Fantastic Caverns? <laughs> oh, man. I've never been. You've never been? No. Steak? Yeah. Is it Have awesome? Have you been? I'm pretty sure. Is it fantastic? I don't remember being that great. Not that fantastic. I've been to a, a national park. It was a cave, and that one was way better. It's oh, wow. New Mexico. Carlsbad. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, no, Trish and I, when we were getting ready to be empty nesters, I said, we've got to come up with something. We, we have nothing in common. Yeah. We've got to find something. <laughs> and so I put a, I was making a list of, okay, here are things we want to do. I want to do when we become empty nesters. And the only thing I had written on there after about eight months was, Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I've never been. I've and lived around here my entire, and we still haven't been. There's probably 50 billboards from here. I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and so, I think it'd be interesting. Is it close? It's yeah. in Springfield, right? 12 miles. <laughs> I don't have time to make it over there. And you never, yeah, you never thought, hey, I bet Jake and Caitlin would like to go check out the Fantastic Caverns. No. Maybe you went there on a field trip or something. Yeah, something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What else, what else do you want to tell us, Steve? I don't know. I'm glad you guys came down. It was nice to see Brad Ellis pull up in the driveway. Today. Yeah, man. Did you tell him how you was going to try to find it? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> yeah, I tried and didn't really, didn't really make yeah. it. But so no, that was cool. Yeah, I'm glad you're down here. Oh man, uh, yeah. I think I might stay the night if that's okay. Sweet. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I did get. A, I did. I, I really originally wanted to record this in Jake's childhood bedroom, but we went in there and it didn't really look like Jake's childhood no. bedroom anymore. Yeah. Uh, there was a flowery bed and a treadmill. <laughs> and so yeah is there anything that brad has said on the podcast that you'd like to rebuke or that you're upset at this is your time to talk yeah not as much as him as i have with you <laughs> some stuff that i just scream at you guys about uh not knowing how to back a trailer yeah sorry uh not knowing how to get a deer out of the deer woods after I, you kill it can i can i can i no. defend my backing of the trailer real quick no you can't you said it was, you, it was a tiny trailer you let though. another man come and back your trailer out no you cannot defend it that. was tiny though it was so tiny don't you think that smaller I trailers? Unhook, are- I would have unhooked it by my hand and pulled it out before I let another guy back my trailer. Up. <laughs> Shame on you, Brad. <laughs> okay. No, now I will say the shorter the trailer, the harder it is. That's to back. What, thank much, you. Much, but worse. that's all I wanted you to say. That's yeah, all I wanted you to say. Well, you guys were just talking about how do you get a deer out of the woods after you kill it? So it uh, kind of, and I think it's changed now just because everybody's you know has a uh, little four wheelers or whatever to drag them out, but. What'd I mean, you do we, before? we we would gut them right there. Yeah, wherever you shot them at, you you, then you have to cut the cut the scent glands off of them. What's that? Uh, that's mean? what the bucks use to attract the females. And oh, scent glands. Yeah, and oh, so okay. you'd cut that off, and then you'd gotcha. gut them, and then you'd drag them out of there. So why wouldn't you want to keep the scents on there so that more more does are like, hey, here we go. Well, back in the day, you could only kill one. Oh, okay. So it didn't matter. You still hunt? No, really. No, I haven't hunted for several years. Okay. Um. What else do we have questions for Stevie? Anything else you're upset at us for? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I wish I knew because there's been several times. I, I, it always I scares listen- me death. Every time you guys, every time Jake gets ready to tell a story from his childhood, it scares me because I'm thinking, ah. How's I, this going to make me look? Yeah. Yeah. And so none of them, uh, you guys have been very nice to me. So I appreciate that. But, sure. Uh, no, I, whenever yeah. I listen to correct opinions, I want to yell things every once in a while. I'll be like, that's, that's frustrating. Like you're wrong. That's not it. Or, or you didn't know that? Like something like that. Yeah. Well, Jake, so. it's majority, but I mean, I think everybody has their memories of, oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is the way I remember it. Well, right. <laughs> and, and I may be wrong. I, the, sure. There's probably a better chance that I'm wrong than Jake's wrong. Yeah. So, uh, his memory is a little bit sharper than mine. So, uh, no. What do you think about the Olympics? What's what's been your you've been watching the Olympics? You said oh, what's I love the Olympics. We'll watch anything on the Olympics. I was just watching BMX bikes and yeah. they all look the same, but I still watch the whole thing. <laughs> Isn't there somebody is it BMX or skateboard or somebody like we have an American that's like fifteen years old? Have you heard about this? I thought a thirteen year old won it. I would say there, there's 13? a girl, girl uh-huh. that I follow on Instagram, Sky Brown. 
He was like probably a thirteen year old girl skateboarder. Probably yeah. like one of the there's there's no limit for like how young you can be. At like if oh, you're good enough. No, you got to be able to skate. But yeah. <laughs> well, sure. But like that's crazy. Thirteen years old. Yeah. Uh, I don't know enough. Like, do they have like multiple channels for the Olympics now, or is it just like? Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I think the main ones. Uh, what is NBC, ABC, whatever. Right. But then you can find it. I mean. I watch CNBC golf or, okay. on the golf channel. So yeah, there's a lot of, lot of <laughs> Olympics. In fact, I told Trish this morning, we looked at uh, everything we've got recorded. I said, all right, we've only got 1% left on our DVR. Oh really? And it records tons. <laughs> so we started getting rid of some stuff. You just so. like searched like Olympics and just recorded yeah. every single thing that was on there. Yes, we did. And you just went to Mexico? Yeah. Any any tips for anybody going to Mexico? That was great. We loved it. You're trying to get me to bash it. I'm no, not. Gonna, not no, I'm not. I'm not going to no, bash no. it on. <laughs> no, I just want to know. Like, I, I want to know your yeah your your tips. Your we were just tips. surprised. Okay, we were. Uh, I wasn't trying to get you to bash it. I'm not. I think you were. I'm not got gotcha you journalism. Tell about that first room you had. That was kind of fun. That video you sent me. Oh, well, it you know, and we didn't even realize it was that bad. We we got down. We've always done, done cruises, so. Yeah. We kind of thought, okay, well, well, we'll go to an all-inclusive. It'll, it'll be kind of like the ports when we get off the ships. And it was nothing like that. And so they, we checked into our first room. And I don't know if they just didn't – I don't think they like Trish. I get, I'm going to blame it on Trish. <laughs> they probably love me. But oh yeah. Uh, once we checked in, they're like going, all right, your room will be ready in 45 minutes. We'll see you then. And we go, all right, well, what do we do? Uh, we don't care. And I said, well, is there a place to eat? They, well, said, yeah. we don't, they said, we don't care. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he meant I don't care. Okay. I don't think that's what he said, but he said, uh, I go, well, is there a place to eat? Yeah. I go, all right, well, where? 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 Yeah. He goes, well, three or four of them are closed down right now, but yeah, there's some places and, you know, he'd kind of point. So oh, we yeah. just walked around and uh, found a restaurant to eat. And when we did check into our room, they were doing construction, literally butted right up against it. And we didn't think much about it. Like to be they gave with Trish you. the sledgehammer if she yeah. wanted. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was questioning some of their measurements. I think it was seven eighths. Uh, yeah. I, I think Jose said seven so eighths earlier. Jose. So don't, don't yeah. cut it at three quarters. They're like, we use meters uh, here, man. Yeah. So anyway, they called us about uh, three hours after we'd been there and they said, Hey, we're going to upgrade you uh, to a room. We'll I said, be ready well, in for 45 free? minutes or so. Yeah. And they said, oh, yeah, we're going to upgrade for free. And we kind of liked the room we were in. And so I said, well, can can we see the, the construction yeah. yeah, yeah, right. I said, can we see the room before you upgrade to Jose's us? quinceanera, you know, <laughs> Jose's daughter. And yeah. they were very surprised. Like, they'll go, yeah, we'll show it to you. You do know what upgrade means, yeah? <laughs> well, I know it, but I, I thought, said well. it right, right? <laughs> and I mean, as soon as he opened the door, we said, yeah, we'll take it. So yeah. they, that was nice. Uh, they cool. put us in a suite and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that was, that was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, that may have been one of the nicer rooms we've ever stayed in. When you said you're a big cruise guy. These, I, the only cruise I took, the rooms were tiny. Oh, can you, can I, you get like bigger that. ones? You do like it? Yes, I love the tiny room. Why is that? I just, it's, it's just so compact, but yeah. now Trish and I are completely different. As soon as we check in someplace, I unpack everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I want it completely unpacked yeah. and Trish just lives, lives out, out of the, the suitcase. No, no. I, uh, I've grown to really enjoy like, yeah, unpacking yeah. and like putting them in the, a lot of times people have drawers or whatever at the hotels. Now it backfired in Mexico because I just unpacked <laughs> and, and Trish unpacked most of her, I think she'd unpacked everything too. So okay. she's getting better. She likes that better now, but yeah. Yeah. So we unpacked it, repacked it and unpacked it again. But, uh, yeah, on the cruise ships, I love the small rooms. Really? I love that shower. <laughs> I mean, that shower, you've got about three in, and I do not know why I love it, but I, I love every, I love uh. everything about cruising. Trish and I should work for Royal Caribbean. That'd I be mean, awesome. there is not a thing about it that we dislike. What you could like, you retire and you work for them. Mm. That'd be awesome. You know, we we don't work hard enough. I mean, the workers they have on that ship, really? those poor people. Yeah, I mean, they work. You know, fourteen, sixteen hours a day. They're on that ship for. I think I think yeah. it's a five month contract when they sign up. Maybe longer than that. Wow. And they work very hard. There's and they are sleeping. so so good. So, yeah. So nice. So yeah, I, I would not be that nice. Yeah, I was going to think maybe, maybe there's day like a, two, I'd start being a little cranky with people. Maybe there's a talent that you could do where you wouldn't have to work as many hours. Like you're, you're the, harmonica you're the player. harmonica player. Harmonica yeah. player. Is he a big harmonica guy? Huge. Huge. Oh, yeah. I okay. can't play it, but I mean, but I, I you, can do it. Yeah. You blow I mean, on that thing. if you want to pay me, oh, I'll, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it. Like I'm thinking like maybe a game show. Like I, I, we went to a cruise one time. They had like a newlywed game and oh, like, yeah. you know, the MC up there or something like, you but could, you know, even that guy, uh, and it's sad to say, but we've kind of got to know the one guy. Uh, <laughs> you know and his he, name? Well, he <laughs> ended, uh, I, I, I've drawn blank now, but yeah, we used to check and make sure he was the, uh, the cruise director. Cruise director. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> and we, w- we, will, we would sell on the ship that he was on because wow. we've been on some that the cruise directors are just. How many like cruises are we talking about here? 
Well, we didn't seriously. Even, I, like we didn't like even five, start cruising. Ten? We did 80? not go on our first cruise until our 25th wedding anniversary. We mm-hmm. were empty nesters, and okay. I just did it to basically yeah. satisfy Trish because sure. I did not want to go. Really? I said, what are we going to do on a boat for a week? These tiny showers. Uh, you can't ship off, can't fish off of, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't fish off the ship. Poop I said, deck, so, you know? <laughs> I said, I really don't know what we're going to do for a full week on a boat. And that was that may have been the best week of our lives, that really? first cruise. That's awesome. Uh, and so I think we went on. I think we booked our next one on the flight back. Okay. Uh, and so we went like two months later. I think we went on three cruises that year. Yeah. And I think we were up we're up to like ten or twelve in the last wow. seven years. That's awesome. And so we haven't we didn't cruise at all last year. And so that's and always they're a really, still not cruising yet. Really? Like, they're, like, they're starting up. They're doing some test cruises okay. and gotcha. they were gonna do one, but you had to wear your mask even at the pool. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing that. So Cruise culture doesn't seem like it would mess very well. But yeah. yeah. So anyway, we, yeah, we've been looking. I, in fact, I almost booked one for October 17th, but Trisha's got to work. So but hey, they're I'll just, go with you. they're perfect. Like a comedy show, maybe like five days after that, that maybe you'd like to, like to see. Hmm. You, you've seen his comedy before. Yeah, I've seen his <laughs> I live with this guy. Huh? Yeah, there'll be a comedian on the ship. But, yeah, but no, that cruise director, I mean, yeah, he would do like the, the newlywed show and all, all yeah. the game show. But I mean, he, he works hard. Really? I mean, all those, there, there's not an easy job on that cruise ship. I'm going to find mean, one. I, I'm going to find one. I don't think so. <laughs> Who's the guy that turns the wheel? <laughs> the captain? <laughs> that wheel's pretty big. It's, it's, I mean, you're not having to move that much on a ship. I don't ship. know. I mean, we've we've looked at jobs. I've, I haven't seen Will Turner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wheel Turner for the captain. The captain says, turn it. Yeah. He's turning it. <laughs> oh, assistant will turn yeah right? awc assistant too. oh man no no we we love cruises cannot wait to go on another one How? and now we took jake i think jake was bored to death is that true yeah i didn't do it for me really yeah the pizza buffet it is no one was there my age oh yeah, really that, yeah mm-hmm. no one no one is in their 20s oh because i guess yeah this was kind of recently yeah yeah I that's about spring break you'll find people in their 20s but otherwise no hmm yeah, we uh Thanksgiving. That's what we went. We went over Thanksgiving. I like the excursions a lot. Did you? Yeah. You guys go see some like you swim with some devil rays. Uh, we had went to Bluegill. Actually. Bluegill. Oh, you snorkel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that may have been the best. It was actually Thanksgiving Day. We were at Grand Cayman. We were supposed to do uh the catamaran okay. to go uh to uh Stingray City. Oh, you know, you're standing about, you're yeah, out in I the middle of the ocean and, and that in Grand is Canyon. incredible. Yeah. Oh. And it got canceled. Okay. And so, you know, we hooked up with some local guy to give us our own excursion. And I remember when we got in the boat to go snorkeling, what did we go? 50 feet. Yeah. And we thought, oh, this is, this is going to be a joke. And the first, <laughs> first time we went down, it was really nothing. And they took us like another 50 feet and it was amazing. And that's when that guy would start throwing the fish food at our heads Oh yeah. and the fish would get, but it was just. It was awesome. So we snorkeled there and then uh, lunch that day because none of us are big Thanksgiving turkey and dressing people. Sure. Uh, Especially not when you're in the Grand Cayman yeah. Islands. And I, so we ate at an outdoor restaurant. And uh, was that sturgeon fish that they had coming up? I mean, six feet long. <laughs> had the iguanas walking across the, the dining room floors yeah. while we were eating. And it's just that, that that was the best Thanksgiving day I've ever had. That's awesome. Yeah, Trish and I still talk about that. That was uh that was nice. But yeah, on the ship, there there really wasn't. Yeah. But but we love it. We love every bit of it. Oh yeah. I think I would like it a lot. Oh, so nice. Okay. So next time, next time you're going on a cruise, holler at me. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for, for right. uh talking to us. Well, you guys have a good thanks day. Thanks for thanks for having us at your house. All right. Let me know if you want some baloney. <laughs> <laughs> I told Trish, I said I almost brought you in a sl- sandwich, but you I didn't should've. want to waste it. So <laughs> <laughs> I would have eaten it, I think. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, uh, yeah, thanks for joining. What do you think? What do you think about the? Um, we went to Jimmy John's yesterday. Okay, I'll say that. Um, and for whatever reason, <clears throat> I, I think I think Chick Fil A has a pretty good stereotype of their workers. I think that Jimmy John's they have almost the exact same stereotypical workers in every single one. Like I think sometimes you you get some off off uh, not not super Chick Fil A e workers at Chick-fil-A, Jimmy John's, it's almost every single time. These people are like, 
somehow like it's like an amazing amazing thing it's like it's like they're somehow stoners but also very very productive and like polite and good at their job interesting i don't go to j john's very often oh, at really? all yeah oh, so dang. i gotta take your word for it I, yeah it's like it's like this amazing like if you ever i, I don't i i guarantee you there's like zero people that have ever worked at jimmy john's listen to our podcast <laughs> <laughs> but like like it's like maybe i shouldn't say stoners but definitely like if they're in a circle, they're not praying, you know, like, <laughs> like, like, like it's like, it's like this amazing, but they're always it's like, their thing is like freaky fast subs. And yeah. so it's like, like they're always really good at their job, but they're always like tatted up. They got gauges. Like they seem really relaxed about it. Like they don't seem super clean, but at the same time, like everything in the restaurant's clean. They do things really well. They do things really quickly. They're very polite. And it's like, how do you always find those two things that mix? Cause it's not like every single person that is that kind of lifestyle is like that. You know, like you meet plenty of people that are like that at McDonald's that don't serve you very well, but Jimmy John somehow gets it done. If so, I just the perfect people that they're I don't, for, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. They and, hire well. And it's like that in every single city. Like we were in the middle of nowhere, Western Kansas, Colby, Kansas, Oasis on the Plains. And somehow yet still they found Jimmy John's found the eight people in Colby that were like this <laughs> and threw them in a room together and made the best beach club you've ever had in your life. Wow. So that's special. Yeah. I always find it fascinating. <clears throat> just like it's a it's an ongoing competition in my head of just like who is more sad to be here. Someone who works at Subway or someone who works at McDonald's because <laughs> it's fascinating. I mean, they don't even look you in the eyes. They don't say anything to you. Really? Yeah. Just like, oh uh, yeah. I mean, recently I walked up to Subway, like waiting for her to like address me in some way to let me know she's ready to take my order. And she's just like standing there, not working on anything, but also not talking to me. So I'm like, I think she's ready to take my order, but common courtesy would right. say you speak first. Yeah. Wait, wait, maybe she's thinking about something. Yeah. Or- she's processing what just happened. And then eventually we wait a long enough time where I'm just like, what? How's it going? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's just like, didn't say anything. I think she's just so just like sad to be there. That's, that is sad. I know it really That's is. Too bad. It's not as funny. <laughs> no, I, maybe you start going with Jimmy John's day. Cause they're always very happy. Right. Really? They're excited to be there. And the thing I love, uh, we have one by our house and they have a drive through and all they do whenever you drive up there is on the, they just go Jimmy John's. And then you start talking to him. Yeah, that's great. Like, it's like saying hello. Yeah. Everyone knows why, why what the transaction is at the drive-thru. You don't have to be like, hey, welcome back to McDonald's. How can I help you? Like, yeah, it's finger lick and chicken chicken, you know, <laughs> or whatever right. Canes is. So. Hey, 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 what are we thinking about chicken today or whatever? Yeah. No, it's just say Canes. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Jimmy John's. <laughs> Take a number 12, please. So Colby, Kansas. Colby, Kansas, the Oasis on the Plains. <clears throat> um, I have a little quinky dink to share with you, Brad. Not a big one. Okay. Little dink. Little dink. Uh, Luff them up. I, this was in New Jersey, the very first show of the weekend. Okay. Uh, I'm getting some DMs from people, some ghost who's like, I'm at the first show. I'm like, all right, that's awesome. Stick around afterwards. I want to come say hi. You'll probably recognize the Instagram username, Mer Neves. Yes. I always, I always pronounced it Mir Neves. Mir Neves. Yeah. Yeah. Mir Yep. Uh, Mer Neves is in the house. She's uh, with, I think her sisters and some other people. And anyway, we're talking. Did you figure the- out her name? I think, no, you would. <laughs> okay. I think it's Miranda though. Like okay. Mer is short for Miranda. Oh, okay. Surely okay. it's Mer. Oh, okay. I, uh, I didn't know. I, sorry, Mer Neves. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know if we went over that. That's okay. Yeah, I remember it was kind of Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> I put, I stuck my hand out to shake her hand and she just kind of looked at it. So I think our initial interaction was not great. Oh, and maybe yeah. she said her name and I just didn't listen. <laughs> but <laughs> that's funny to think about. We, we talked for probably like 15 minutes after the show. It was really fun. Maybe not quite 15 minutes, but it was a long time and it was really fun. And uh, you know, she's asking me about New Jersey. I'm like, you guys ever been to Kansas City? No, we never been to the Midwest. We have one friend in the entire Midwest. Uh, his name is Dawson. And I'm like, that's a pretty good like Midwest name. Yeah. Like he he lives somewhere. He lives in Kansas, I think. I was like, that makes sense. So I get a DM two days later. That's like, hey, this is crazy. But you remember our friend Dawson we told you about? He sold you your car on Wednesday. So the day before that. I went to buy a car. Yeah. Dawson was the guy who would like, I talked to there. He was the one who sold me the car. How did they figure that out? And then, so Mer Neves put me on her story. Oh, okay. And so I guess Dawson follows her reply and like replied to his like, yo, I think I saw that guy yesterday. <laughs> I think he bought a car for me. No way. Yeah. So that was pretty crazy. I mean, back yeah. to back. Yeah. She's like, we have one friend in the Midwest. He lives in Kansas. His name is Dawson. And yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I met him yesterday. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> That, what a what, just, a what a quickity! <laughs> that's awesome. Dude. Yeah, that's that's of, awesome. That's Dawson. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I got other stuff, but we should probably get on some voice memos. I got a yeah, you got a boogie. <laughs> yeah, we gotta wrap this up kind of soon. <laughs> Shout out Caden. She's he's a listener of the podcast. Yeah, Caden's podcast. He's getting married here in a little bit. Caden's 
family members sometimes listen to the podcast, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. Uh, here's a voice memo from Ross. Ross the boss. Hey, Jake and Brad. This is Ross from Dallas. I have this idea, this invention that I've had since I was probably 10 years old. And I don't know why it's not a thing already. And I would love for you guys to take this idea, play a little good idea, bad idea with it. And I'd love to hear your opinion. So the idea is ice cream donuts. So you have cake donuts with a layer of ice cream on the inside. I'm telling you what, you break those out at a party, you will be the most popular person there. You've made so many new friends. Okay. I don't know why it's not a thing already. I've had this idea for most of my life since I was a child. I would love to see it become a thing one day. But I want to know y'all's opinion. Good idea, bad idea. And also, do you have any uh, interesting food inventions that you would like to see become reality in your lifetime? Thanks, guys. Okay. Ross. Ross the boss. <clears throat> this is amazing. You also, like the it? title of his voicemail was called Investors, Possibly You, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> That'll get you to click on it. Uh, so, Ross, I love everything about this because back in the day, myself and David Harris, I don't know if anyone knows David Harris. If you do, text him and say, Jake was talking about you and he misses you and he loves you. But we had this idea. We wanted to start a, like, a food truck or some kind of business called like the Donut Bowl. Okay. It kind of sounds like the donut hole, but it's basically you make like, yeah, some sort of like cake donut and you fill in the bottom of it. That that aspect of it, I don't really know how we do, but it becomes like a okay. a cereal bowl oh, that's made see. out of a donut. And then you and then pour the cereal edible? milk in it. Yeah. Once you're done with your cereal, then you get to eat the donut. You get to eat the bowl like it's all edible. Yeah. You call the it the donut edible. bowl. You call it edible. No, we call it Donut Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got a different name. Oh, you can figure that out. That somebody, somebody out there that's culinary. Yeah, I wasn't too worried about that. Like we could yeah. find a, like a hard shell at the bottom to put on a donut. Oh, yeah. And I think with ice cream in there, too. I like that, too. From, that's Ross's. That's I don't want to take Ross's. But yeah, that was 2015. I remember having that idea. David and I were so fired up about it. Like Donut Bowl, dude. Dude. It's going to be awesome. And I forgot about it until just now. <laughs> bring, get, bring it back. So thank you, Ross. I, I, the only invention, I thought it was such a good invention. Now I look back and I'm like, that was silly, but it was at camp kind of like, I think you and David Harris were, where I was like, they should make something that's just already combined versions of barbecue and ranch and call it Barbie ranch. <laughs> and I thought I was going to be a millionaire someday. Cause I thought of that <laughs> and I don't think I am, but, but like, <laughs> like, but like I would always do that at meals. I would always take barbecue and ranch and like mix them together. And it was great. And I was like, why, why, why isn't Heinz doing this? It'd be so easy for them to just do them together. And yeah, whatever. But has anyone made that? I don't know. It Probably. Doesn't, I, it doesn't seem that crazy. It doesn't seem that crazy, but it's just like it's also not that hard to get barbecue sauce and ranch. Just do it yourself. That's why. That's I, true too. Yeah. But if they have done it, you owe me money because I had the idea first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, right? Um, Investors, possibly you. Possibly you. <laughs> I like I like clickbaity voice or voice memos. Start doing that more often. And that's from the People. office. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It's uh oh it's on the show. You know, NBC, okay, the <laughs> office. <laughs> okay. Uh all right. This next one's from Seth, and I really want to hear from him because last week he gave us you heard it here, folks, and it's my favorite new thing to say besides that's what's up. So I want to hear back from Seth. <laughs> hey Jake. Hey Brad. It's Seth and Jack from Arlington. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, belly bun thing. We're back for more. Um, we just <laughs> want to tell you guys why Jack didn't really, you know. Talk, talk very much in the last yeah. one. It's kind of sad, I know, but you get to hear my voice. <laughs> he kind of talks a lot. Squeaks and like you. Once he starts, he never really stops. So you know, let, let's let him have a little bit of a chance to talk. So yeah. you know, Jack. So, so you know, I was listening. Oh, to it looks ball. like that's all we got. So you're here to hear, folks. How much Jack wants to talk? Anyway, I our questions it. to you, Jake and Brad, are: what? what subject do you start talking about and never stop talking? Hey. So yeah, uh, bye. <laughs> I feel like it started off as like this like bit. They were like, hey, we'll talk about how much you love to talk and they'll cut you off. But yeah. at the end, Jack was like, hey, but seriously, can I say something? <laughs> like, can I get a word in? The last like one second of that was hilarious. <laughs> <What? What? laughs> That's great. Uh, good stuff. Thanks, Seth and Jack. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> here to hear, folks. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, okay. What's the subject? And when it gets brought up, you can't stop talking about it. Is this, I guess my, my answer is more like a, like I can't stop even if other people don't. It's like a one way conversation almost. Like I could talk, I could talk and be like, oh, and one more thing about that. Yeah, That's I really don't cool. need other people to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I realized on this road trip, like we listened to the Beatles a few times, and I just love talking about the Beatles. Ooh. I like love telling Catherine facts about them and like 
crazy things. And like, then you listen to the music and you're like, you hear that bass line right there. That's so good. That's so inventive. And like, so crazy. And like the whole time, Catherine's just not saying anything to me, you know, but, but I'm like, just let me say one more thing. Like, I know you don't really care, but let me say one and more also, thing. Yeah, let me just... Like if that's the kind of question it is, like, I know you don't really care, but I'm going to tell you anyway, it's the Beatles. I think like I can have lots of conversations about other things, but I need somebody else to put their input in Yeah, with the Beatles. I'll just tell you stuff. I think that's probably how it used to be as far as music goes with Bo Burnham. Oh yeah. And now it's kind of become mainstream to like, what did you think of his Netflix special? Okay. So I think it's not as cool to like, okay. as it used to be like, you should listen to this. And like, are you seeing this? Are you catching all these jokes? Like this yeah. is so clever. That was how it used to be. Okay. With that. Yeah. Um, but anything now, I think it's stuff that I've talked about on the podcest probably. Right. So I'm fired up about like the, uh, the diamond industry and how corrupt it is. And now we have billions of them just yeah. in caves in South Africa. I can get going on that for a while. <laughs> I could talk about my theory on dinosaurs. That'll oh, get me fired okay. up for a while. I could talk about, I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast, but the golden ratio, we start oh, yeah. talking Fibonacci sequence and I'll go Ooh, for a while. A little Fibonacci. I'll go for, I got about 15, 20 in me. Can you remind me real quick what the golden ratio is? So it's based off of the Fibonacci sequence, but right. basically it's like, it's 1.618. It's like this golden ratio that we see everywhere in nature and in creation. That's right. It's like the perfect integration of science and faith and yeah. no one ever talks about it. Okay. I, it's it's almost frustrating how you, I had to find this myself when I was 22 years old. Like, wait, oh, no, really? no <laughs> one's ever like brought this to my attention. And it's like the most. Oh, really? Yeah. To me, it's the most uh, concrete example of like intelligent design that we have on Earth. Yeah. But you never hear anyone talk about it, huh. which is frustrating. Just Jake episode sounds like bring Ooh, coming up. I should. Fibonacci. Just Ooh. Jake episode 1.618. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good that's call. Good. I'll that's have some good. diagrams, yeah. have some PowerPoints going. Okay, I like that. Thanks for the uh, inspiration. You're welcome, dude. Seth, good question, honestly. That's fun to good think Good work. About. Yeah. Seth and Jack, of course. Right, of course. Um, All right, and this is a voice memo. This is from our boy Spencer uh, and from our Phoenix show who brought, uh, what's her face? Let's we'll just listen. Trace. Oh, yeah, because without Trace. Yeah. Hey, Jake and Brad, this is Spencer, the guy you met in Arizona. I know it's been a while. I know you guys asked me like seven episodes ago, maybe even longer, um, if Tracy paid me back for the ticket that I got her for free. So when I was in line, I was talking to Tracy and there was like these five gorgeous like college girls right by me as well. Hey-o. And I was saying like, oh man, I just wanted someone to have this ticket. I was ready to just give it for free. And then Tracy said, I'll take it for free. <laughs> like, and then her. one of the college girls said, well, you walked right into that one. And I just thought, oh, dang it. Now I have to give it to her for free. <laughs> but Tracy paid for my $15 bottomless Sprite <laughs> that I had while we were watching the show. That's the most Mormon thing I've so ever heard in my really, life. <laughs> it all evened out because I swear that was like bottomless the price sprite. of the ticket. The fact that he used the word Sprite, you're not like a bottomless soda package or whatever. Like I got bottomless drinks. It's just purely Sprite. It was a little cheaper if you just choose one. Dude, I do remember that show. Like there was like themed drinks for Trey's show. Like, oh yeah, do you want to do, do less? So yeah, yeah, whatever. And they were like $22. And I was like, that's too much for a drink. Dang. Yeah. That's so crazy. So $15 bottomless Sprite. And that goes all to the club too. Right, yeah, right. we don't get any of that. I figured, I figured it wasn't like, yeah, Trey's hiking up these prices. Yeah, that's Trey, how they make Trey their would have made them like $6 or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it was just like, holy cow. Um, that's funny though. The $15 bottomless Sprite. Is, <laughs> like that sounds like something that Scott would have gotten so bad. Like Scott is my only Mormon friend growing up and he would always have to have Sprite when the rest of us were drinking Dr. Pepper and Coca-Cola or he'd be like, can we get caffeine free Coca-Cola? It's like, dude, no, like it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> there's something different about it. You know, there's something different. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Like for the, like our baseball games at the end, like somebody would bring drinks and uh, there's no Sprite or, you know, Fanta. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Like, <laughs> You don't get any, get any this time or something. So, oh, that's funny. Bottomless it, Sprite from Spencer. It sucks too. Like, imagine him, like, I'm going to say this kind of loudly in front of these girls and say, yeah. in case any of them don't have tickets, like, I got a free ticket if anyone wants it for free. And then, like, this older woman who yeah. you didn't, because out of the shadows, I'll take it. You're like, gosh, dang it. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> Tracy? Cool. Maybe I'll have a good story for the podcast. Later. I don't know. <laughs> take my picture with these guys. Uh, <laughs> that's too good, man. I, I still look back on, on that show and think so many fond memories. That was a fun time. Oh, it was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was really, really cool. What is up? Uh, Jacob Triplett and Bradley Ellis. What's I up? hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And um, something has happened in my life that uh, involves something that you guys love so much and something that I love so much. I found a girl that I've been hanging out with 
recently and nice. talking to a lot nice. that I really like. That's and guess nice. what? She works at Chick-fil-A. Nice. Yes, I know. When I found this out, I was like, is this the bay of my dreams? Chick-fil-A. I don't know yet. But I had two questions for you guys. The first one, is it weird if I go to Chick-fil-A three to four times a week just so I can say hi to her? 6% so I can say hi to her and 40% because I actually kind of need food to live. And the second one is if you guys could hit me with some interesting and unique date ideas, um, I would love that. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Peace. Peace. Love the 60-40 breakdown. Yeah. He, he knows. I mean, he's, yeah, he's he realistic it. about it. Yeah. First, my, my answer to that is like, if you like the girl, go for it as much as you can, man. Like just, <laughs> just seriously, like go, go for it. If you're, if you're in love, not in love, you don't have to say you're in love, but if you're like into this girl, like do everything you can to show her. I don't like the whole psychological, like, Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going too much. She's going to get tired of me. Yeah, like, all gas, no breaks. If here. it's the right girl, she's not going to be tired of you, dude. Yeah. Like, she's going to love you, you know? And if it's not the right girl, then you got out quicker because you, really put yourself out there quicker. So, and that's what your grandma prayed for, you know? Yeah. Your grandma's praying for this for a full on pursuit. So you got to take advantage. (laughs) That's right. Uh, Uh, unique date ideas. Um, I know we've talked about Chick-fil-A laser tag. I finally took a girl on that date and that's where March madness came from, but you're not getting that story today. So uh, maybe someday, (laughs) maybe someday, uh, the best story ever guys. I promise. (laughs) I promise. Keep, keep pounding it. Keep, keep hounding him in the, like the burrito money thing was great. Oh my gosh. The burrito money. So many comments for Jake's burrito. I mean, seriously, so many comments. (laughs) I can't believe how many times you guys commented that and everywhere it's on Instagram. It's on YouTube. It's on different YouTube channels. Like, I just can't believe how many comments you guys left. Like, I can't imagine anybody <laughs> being able to comment more for the March Madness story than the burrito money <laughs> story, right, guys? Like, you would never be able to do that. So, uh, you know, but if you did, I don't wonder what That'd happened. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. No, Trey and Derek Monday morning literally were like, what is, what is with these burrito <laughs> comments we're getting? Like, what is happening? And I was like, oh, yeah, we have the best fans in the world. So, yeah, maybe you should listen to our podcast. Yes. That, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, Chick-fil-A is a good one. Um, this is not as Jake, Jake's going to have way better answers. But one thing that's like low key, really fun is going to a furniture store and just trying out different chairs. I know that sounds silly, but <laughs> if it's with the fun. right girl and like, like there's going to be different little opinions you're going to have. You're like, like, really? You like like, like the furniture these days are crazy. Yeah. Like some of the stuff they have in them is crazy. And like, it's really fun. Like Nebraska furniture Mart is a huge store in Kansas city. And it's really fun to go there and just like sit down and you have conversations while you're trying out different chairs and don't try out the beds unless you're married. Um, but yeah, that, it's really funny. So that's kind of fun. I never thought about that. I've done that before with the girl, but we go to like a, uh, a dog place or whatever and yeah. pretend like we're going to be adopting a dog yeah. together and we're just playing with right, him. Right. And we're just playing that day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, this is more of a, maybe you've been dating for a while. You're not going on as many like dinner dates. You're more casual dates. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and this one girl used to play uh, Lifetime Movie Bingo. I don't know if we talked about this on the pod, but that was so fun. Okay. So each of us, we would find a different like Lifetime or like Hallmark movie somewhere on the internet. Okay. And all you get to see is the title and like whatever like image it gives you, like the DVD cover. Okay. That's all you have to go off of. You can't read the description. Okay. So just the title and the picture. And then each of you, we would make like four by four this is fun bingo yeah. cards right. of just predictions that we thought were going to happen just yeah. like things like someone ends up gay right you know, like <laughs> uh, you know or like a a bad relationship between mother and daughter uh sure. things like that sure this for it was just so fun right I, i'd say 60 40 isaac 60 percent of the fun is just like all right i'm done read me your bingo card yeah. and you're like oh that's such a good prediction that's definitely gonna happen i love that it was so fun and then like most of them don't come true right. but it's really fun to just be rooting for like and like, and like please stab somebody yeah as you're watching this like yeah like i think he's got a knife here so maybe it's gonna happen here i, I put stabbing in my center circle or my center square yeah. so like he he hold, held on to that hug pretty long with his brother like <laughs> i think he stabbed someone by the end yeah <laughs> no i was saying more the other one oh, okay, said, okay, but, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway but uh yeah that's a good one I, something that's fun is something I guess I did with my sister, which makes it sound weird that I'm suggesting it for a date. But growing up, we would go to the Nelson art gallery. They have a really big lawn and we would throw up the, the Frisbee like somewhere that's like, like kind of not known for like that being the ultimate like reason that you're there, like a lawn at this really nice art gallery. It's really pretty and like a cool area, but you just play Frisbee there. That's good. Yeah. I'm a huge fan just in general of like things having themes. I love a good theme. Yeah. Uh, it has to have a theme, Jim, you know, and so I'm a big fan of like, yeah, taking a girl on like a theme date. Like today's theme is elderly. Yeah. We're going to go to Cracker Barrel at 430 
and then we're going to go play bingo. You know, that's right. something I've done before. I like that. Or tonight is middle school themed, actually. Your mom is going to be picking both of us up in a minivan. Right. We're going to go to the mall and walk around for a while oh, and then I, sit in the back row of the movies. Can we do that sometime when I get a minivan and I'll be your mom <laughs> or your dad? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Or maybe, maybe Catherine and I do it together. I'll have my grandma keep praying and yeah. then we'll, you know, hopefully get to the point. Like maybe Catherine and I are oh. both your parents and then we sit in the back row and like, Yes. Or maybe we sit in the front row and kind of look up at you every once in a while <laughs> just to make sure you're doing okay. Oh, I oh, want that'd that. be so fun, dude. Let's oh, do that. Oh, that sounds so fun. Okay. So yeah, having themes. I've got a lot of themes. I like that. Uh, but and, and honestly, that might, in a way, make your creativity a little bit easier to do. Because like once you get the theme down, it's way easier to think about the things to do. Yeah. That makes sense. Like Go out, take a bunch of pictures with a disposable camera. Mm -hmm. She kind of forgets about it. Two weeks later, you have a 90s themed date. You go rollerblading, oh. go develop the pictures. Sure. Now we're having fun. That's good. Now we're now we're playing ball. Jake, you don't need any prayer. You're doing just fine. <laughs> doing buddy. just fine. Just kidding. We all need prayer. Okay. Uh, let's well, get on to our reviews of the week. Yeah. And then, Brad, I think while you do the jingle, I'm going to go change. That's what I was, I was going to say. Oh, no, I was going to say we should do it in one and a half speed. But we can also change at the same time. Oh. Oh, the, the, the song. Uh, the song? Yeah, okay. on YouTube. Um, oh, I can't. My, my internet's being weird. So if you have... Okay. Review of the week from Mallory Joe. I love this podcast. I appreciate how long they are. I have anxiety in this podcast and correct opinions make me laugh while I'm driving and while I do my housework and help me to not feel anxious in moments where I normally would. So thank you so much. You guys are hilarious. Um, P.S. I was visibly angry when I heard the Chipotle burrito story. I would have gone full on Karen for you, Jake. Right. Which I do have an update. I went to that Chipotle again. I saw that girl again who's new. and I was like, uh oh, we're going to have a little debate again. I'm going to stand my ground. But then luckily, this other AAA worker like came to bat for me. I was like, and that's is, she's like, what'd you have? And I said, it's a chicken three pointer with queso. And she goes, what'd you have on it? And I was like, we're about to have at it. And then some other guy goes, yeah, it's a chicken three pointer with queso. And I was like, thank you, sir. Oh, like one of the her coworkers. Let's go. So there's some justice there. Yeah. Good. Uh, mine's that, from. Oh, sorry. That's what's up. That's what's up. Rue Kane says, I'm Catholic. I found this podcast after my boss and my new job told us we're not allowed to talk to each other. There are four people who sit in a dead silent office. That's weird. Um, <laughs> I'm now the girl laughing at her desk doing the mundane tasks of a recent college grad. Brad, your voice is so comforting. Thank oh. you. Jake, you're hilarious, obviously. I now feel like I'm sitting in a living room with friends instead of a lame job. You guys make every task better, including a six-hour car ride. This podcast is better than the other ghost podcasts I've listened to. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. I thought the Catholic part was going to come back at some point, but that was just an well, opening statement. She just got me to listen to it there. You know, read it. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh, I screwed up! Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, that's a really hard song to sing, and you <laughs> asked for it at 1.5 speed, and it's new lyrics. I thought it was a good idea. Jake looks nice, though. Yeah, I, I did change. Just now got my belt on. It's quick. I think we're going to be all right. Luckily, I'm having a good hair day already, so I, I don't think I need to do anything. No, I think great. I'm just like, I'm ready to go, I think. Go back. Go go for it. What? <laughs> go, go for it. Go back. <laughs> go back. Um, cool. This is episode 117, I think. Yep. Does that sound right? Yep. <clears throat> um, all right. I got to go to a wedding. Brad, yeah. I can't believe you drove all the way down here. here Thank I you am. again. Stratford, Missouri, baby. <laughs> just screaming in my childhood dining room by yourself. <laughs> Never thought that <laughs> would happen. Who would have thought? Oh, my gosh. I'm so embarrassed at how bad that was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Humility. All, all right? right. How can I pray for you guys? Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, check us out on Patreon. Ghostrunners.live. If you put some merchandise that we Please. have made for y'all. Yeah. And uh, have a good week. Yes. Love you guys. See ya. See ya.